I went to a strip club in Myrtle Beach, spent like $200. I just did seven grams of shrooms last week. I started off with like weed. I was religious at that point, but I just figured, you know, like it's just a plant. I feel like Jesus probably smoked college students that have STDs. Someone earlier told me that ECU was one in four. So that means one, two, three herpes. Sometimes with the alpha male, like Chad kind of dudes, they can be very prideful. And I don't like pride. That is a major turn off. So he left me there for two hours. And while I was there, he never showed up. Sat on his couch and watched Forrest Gump. Cried for two hours while he was fucking another bitch. I went and I fucked his neighbor. You think she has a type? Yes. They usually have like dyed hair, dark clothes. So far you're describing me, but yeah, continue. Yeah, no, pretty much you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, seriously? I was joking. <laughs> yeah, nice. No. What was the worst pickup line? Or God, let me fuck on them tits. <laughs> the proper message. Well, like, our humor is not Bad. normal. So if somebody was messaged me and be like, sup, fatty? Like, I would probably be like, like, hey. <laughs> like, that's like my... Oh, shit. The whole squad came up. What's your name? Lindley. Professor Lindley. Nice to meet oh, you. My yeah. name is Loon. I'm not afraid to go back to prison. Oh, you've gone? Yeah. Um, I'm at ECU's campus. Never seen this place before. It's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of kids. Very college town. Uh, very different from where I'm from in Wilmington, at least. I'll tell you that much. Do you want to be on a podcast? You're laughing. You looked. Do you want to hop on? Both of you guys? Chick-fil-A. Fuck Chick-fil-A. Dang. ECU girls are whack. But, um, yeah, so we're out here. And you know what's crazy? There's no one here that looks like me. I haven't seen a single Asian person here. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see how this podcast goes, and then let's see if we can attract some eyes. What's your name? Ashton. Ashton? Blue. Nice to meet you, man. Got that mic over there. How do you like ECU, man? I like it, man. Yeah? What year are you? Sophomore. Yeah. How do you feel about this thing that's making noise? I just got here, and I was like, what the fuck is that? You guys have a library that makes songs. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's different, that's for sure. Yeah. That's all I know how to describe it. Where are you from? I'm from here, in Greenville. You're from yeah, Greenville. It's my hometown. Is there anything to do besides this college? Um, <laughs> I drove up here, I was like, what the hell is here? Not really. I mean Yeah. I mean there's things to do, but nothing like ECU is like where all the fun's at. Did you pick ECU to be close to family or did you pick ECU just because of the parties? Mm. <laughs> A little bit of both. Yeah. How is the parties here? They're good. I didn't go here. Oh, yeah, they're good. Yeah, really? Yeah. Okay. Really what's good. what's a really wild college story you have? Mm. If you could talk in the mic for me. Well, I got an even crazier one before I even got to college. Okay, hit me with it. Hit me with it. So I was like a sophomore in high school, and I came. Halloween goes crazy down here. You were in high school? Yeah. So you had to been like 15. Yeah, like. You dog. just got my license. One oh, yeah, two. you guys, Halloween is crazy here. Yeah. Okay. So, like. We were at Riverwalk, which is like the houses that are on stilts. Okay, okay. And then it's just a huge party. Like, there's barrels of alcohol going around. People just climbing light poles and stuff. It even made the news and stuff. Yo, and it's just what? going wild. So, and there's like people just everywhere in the street. It's just cops showing up. It's just like absurd. Like, you can't even think. Like, you just people going everywhere. Oh my gosh. Did you get in any trouble or anything? Is there with the cops? Because there's cops everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. Well, the green, uh, yeah, the Greenway is right behind Riverwalk, so a lot of people just... Just dip? Yeah. Damn. Have you ever been in trouble with cops before? Mm. I've gotten cuffed once. Mm. It's tragedy. In college, so far, no, because I, I do try to be smart somewhat, and but I still have my fun. Yeah. I'm one of those. Like, I, I have my fun, but I'm smart. Oh, hell yeah, dude. What's yeah. your major? Business management. Ooh, okay. All right, I got a good question for you, all right? Let's say you're walking to your business class, right? Uh-huh. And then you see a baddie on campus. Right, and now you're hard as fuck, and you got to go on the hub. What category are you watching? First off, what website? Are you using the hub? Mm. Uh, you don't strike me as the type. Nah. You, you hesitated. What website are you using? Yeah, I don't use it. You don't use it at all? You don't use any porn? Mm. Try to limit it. Dang, good yeah. for you, man. Don't, yeah. All right, if you had to, though, what category are you watching? Um, you don't have a go-to? Yeah. You don't have a type? I mean, you're looking around right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> maybe funny. that's my type. That's funny. Um. All right, how about this? I'll, I'll make an easier one. Can you, can you give me a guess on what you think the percentage of college students that have STDs are? Well, I know that ECU a few years ago was like one out of four. Oh, it is actually one out of four. Yeah. It's 25%. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give you a really good one here. Uh, a fuck, Mary kill, okay? Okay. All right, Hillary Clinton, Fiona from Shrek, and Lizzo. Who's Lizzo? Oh, I got you. I got you. She's an artist. Uh, I got you. So Fiona from Shrek, we got Lizzo, uh-huh. and then we got Hillary Clinton. 
Who are you going with? Fuck right, Mary Kill. So I'll probably kill Lizzo. <laughs> <laughs> you a dumb. <laughs> you a goof, bro. I'd probably you fuck it or marry and Hillary. Fuck Fiona and marry okay. Hillary Clinton just because she's a real person. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. You don't want to marry an ogre? Nah. <laughs> I was joking. That. Um, if you had an opportunity to sleep with a professor, would you? Mm. Yeah, it's just the right. Yeah. Right yeah. circumstances, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that would be pretty uh, interesting. Maybe that's your uh, category. Yeah, yeah <laughs> possibly. All right, last one I'm going to ask here. Um, who do you think should be the next president? Of the United States? Yes, sir. Mm. If you had to pick anyone, like it could be a celebrity, it could be you. If I could pick anybody to be the president. Hit me with a sleeper. Let me think, let me think. Adam Sandler. <laughs> yeah, that would be Dude, that, that'd be And he dope. would dress down yeah. at all times. I appreciate mm-hmm. you coming out. What was your name again? Ashton. Yeah, do you have an Instagram or anything? Yeah. Shout out your Instagram. Uh, Ashton.Ross underscore. There we go. Appreciate it. Hey, this is the podcast, and it's going to be up on not next Tuesday, but the one after. Yeah, what's your name? I'm Taylor. Taylor? It's Lou, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. I must ask Taylor, are you in Greek life here? I am. I had, I don't know why. I just had a I, feeling. I don't know if it's the <laughs> sorority letter hoodie oh, that is I'm it? wearing. Yeah. No, I, I was just generally oh, guessing. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> what sorority? I'm in Kyle. Omega. Okay. Oh, Kyo. Yeah. Nice. Kyo. Um, <laughs> how how is the Greek life here? Did you like wait, wait, what year are you first? I'm a freshman. Oh, never mind. So you're brand new to it. How has it been so far? It's been great. All right, this is you're the perfect person to ask for this. What's the worst and best fraternity in campus? Oh, I think all of them are great. I honestly, that is such a I political think, answer. I do think all of them are great. So in your freshman year here so far, have you had any wild experiences that you're willing to share? Um I went to a strip club in Myrtle Beach because I went to a formal. At Myrtle? Yeah. What was the, the formal at Myrtle? House, yeah, it was it was a fraternity formal. Nice. And I loved it, every moment of it. I loved the strip club. Was that your first time at a strip yeah. club? Yeah. And Ooh. I spent like two hundred dollars. Dude, you're yeah. feeding them. That's I good. Loved That's it. awesome. I love the strip club. Shout out is this Kyos? <laughs> no, oh, but I'm these are guessing. my friends. Hi friends, how are you guys? Uh best and worst thing about this campus so far. Um, at school. I don't like when it's cold at 7 a.m. when I have to go to chemistry. That's probably my least part, or like my least favorite part. Um, best? Well, I I hate the Panda Express here too. <laughs> I really, I highly dislike the why, Panda why, Express. Why? 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 I just, you, just you know, I asked food. for orange chicken and they gave me vegan orange chicken. Ugh. And I just don't like vegan uh, orange chicken. Speaking of vegan, all right, all right, I guess technically, um, what would you rather, who would you rather date? Someone who is a extreme femboy, like extreme. What does that mean? Like feminine, like, I don't know, like gets his nails painted okay. and like all that vibe, like extreme as fuck. Or a, a douchey Chad, like an extreme um, douche Chad. Whoever's nicer. Well, well, what's your type then? Um, I don't really know. You don't have a checklist? Well, they have to be nice. They okay. have to be respectful. Okay. No physical traits um, that you look at? Not real. I'm big on personality. I'm I big feel like on that's you a have lot to be respectful. That, you have to be very smart. Okay. Very dedicated to what you want to do in life. I'm going to give you a fuck Mary kill. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Uh, Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Okay. Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate. And Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy. Um, well, I'm killing Ted Bundy because one, he's so gross and killed so many people. Right, that's right, awful. Right, right, right. Um, uh, marry Jake Paul and fuck Andrew Tate. For the Tate. money, smart. Yeah, you Oof. know. Could you imagine that? Tana like Mojo. Tate thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my biggest You'd competition right in, there. in life. <laughs> Do you like Tana? I, honestly, I just remember that one meme of her where she was like, we're Team Bryce out here, and that's, like, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I actually surprisingly became a fan of her later in life. Because, really? Yeah, she's friends with this uh, guy that I watch on YouTube named Jeff. I really like him, his content. He's yeah, a hot boy. Yeah, I don't really know her. I just, like, see her on TikTok, but she seems like a funny gal. So. What do you watch on TikTok? What, like, wormhole do oh, you God. get into that um, you're just deep? Mine is chiropractors. Oh no! I was dude hearing the uh, cracks. No, I love that shit. I love. I like. I'll get those like pop culture like funny moments on TikTok. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Where it's just like stupid stuff that like celebrities have said. Like what? I, have you, do you just remember like anything? Mo- yeah, like that Tana Mojo moment. Oh, okay, like, gotcha, gotcha. Or like All right, Jennifer I have, Aniston. Oh, okay, I have a really good one to close it out because I know okay. you probably have something going on. Um, does size matter? And if so, what would it be?
be. Oh my God, that is so vulgar. Yeah, um, this is the podcast. You don't have to answer. I can skip. Uh, you can press skip. It's motion of the ocean, I'd okay. say, but size Okay, I've matter. had both ends of the <laughs> answer, but thank you so much. This is going to yeah, be on not next Tuesday, but then Tuesday after. Oh my God, I'm terrified. What was your uh, Instagram, by the way? It's Taylor. Taylor. Dot Sarich. Dot what? Sarich. How do you spell that? S A R I C H. I don't right. know if I should be putting this on the internet. <laughs> okay, I won't tag you then. Okay. All right, thank you. Take care. Well, I was just like, you look like you were talking to yourself, and I was like, what I am you talking, talking to myself. About? What's your name? My name is Hannah. Hannah Lou, nice to meet nice you. Me. And what uh, year are you here? Um, I guess I'm a junior. You you guess. I'm Define like 24. That. Okay, so that's I've, cool. I've been I'm in 25. school for a minute, so uh, I guess I'm a junior by credits. <laughs> are you like a super super, or did you take a gap or something? So I started off at a, a Christian school. Which in Virginia, one? Liberty Oof. University. Okay, the crazy girls. You know, yo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hated it. Came back here. This is where I'm from. Hated it. Um, were you forced into religion at an early age? You know, forced is kind of a harsh word. I would so say, yes, like, forced. I, I okay. accepted it. I was, I was very into it, though. Like, you I loved what? it. You were. So yes. not anymore. Not anymore. What was the moment that pivoted for you? Like the religion okay. change of like, um, well, what are you now? Do you think are you still I a loose believer? I am not arrogant enough to say that there is no God. Okay. But I am also not stupid enough to say that there is one. So are you saying you're agnostic? Would you yes, say? Yes, that's, that's what, what I, I am. That's so what I am. So I'm I'm on the same boat as you. Yeah. Um. So what was that pinnacle moment that you shifted? You know it. It was like many very small moments that finally led up to this one. Mm. large moment and that was the most hopeless I've ever felt was when I was like maybe this isn't actually what I thought it was oh you wow you know it's like going back and reading over the bible after leaving and like I mean I went to like a private Christian school as well growing up Ooh. from kindergarten it, it, to in here, college you said, mm-hmm. in Greenville area so it was like everything that I was taught was so biased and then when I finally got out of that bubble then it was like oh, okay there's other stuff and it's really not that crazy do you think that when you have kids right uh would you want them to go to any religious thing at all or sure. no 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 because they I do have values but yeah. i'm also debating like brainwash i'm like yeah no I, I, I think that there is definitely a place where christianity is healthy or any religion right. is healthy and it has great morals that that sets you up for success and like you know that's the point of it is to just be good do good what but is I, oh go ahead no go ahead i was just gonna say that i think that there is an unhealthy version of it, which is the modern cultural, like, manifestation of religion that is brainwashy. In your religion, or at, during your time in your religion, was there a big, like, emphasis on pro-life versus yeah. pro-choice? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so weird to me. My mom is also a midwife, so that's like... What is a midwife again? Wait, that's like the one babies. that... Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? That's right. crazy. So it was a very, very specific niche of like Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. How was that with your mom doing that? Did she ever like tell you any like crazy stories and shit? That's fucking crazy. Oh yeah, I heard... So she wasn't just the person that delivered the baby. She was also the person that would like do your checkups throughout like your whole like Damn. pregnancy and stuff. And what does your so, dad do? He works for the Mayo Clinic um, oh I my gosh, so you're really deep in I can't there. really tell you what he does. Yeah, no, you don't have to tell me, but that's <laughs> crazy. You guys, you're deep in that whole sphere. Yeah, yeah. That's great. And what, are yours, what is your major? Social work, but honestly, I'm, you're on I'm year about like to eight, quit though, right? and be a musician. That's what I really want to do. Oh, what kind of music? Um, so I write like singer-songwriter, kind of folk-inspired, kind okay. of like uh, jazz-inspired. Yeah. That's and awesome. And then I sing with a with a singing partner. His name is Jack. We sing downtown, okay, and we do like Jack. mostly like outlaw country, like oldies. Uh, like live performances, you mm-hmm. said? Uh, do yeah. you have like any like music or social media we can shout out? Um, for right now, the social media is Lil Hanza, L-I-L-H-A-N-D-S-A-H. That is my Instagram. I'll put that in there. Haven't so made well. a music Instagram yet, but we're working on it. Oh, hell yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. Uh, I actually think that now in our day and age is the best time for creatives because you can actually make some money, even if it's not a lot. You, it's easier to access money now yeah. if you can put it on social media and certain things like that. Um, I, I prefer the creative side. So what are you going to do with the your major here? Are you going to drop? I, I'm going to finish my degree because I need to finish something. Because you've um, spent like eight years now. You might as well, right? <laughs> six. Don't six. add two more of those Save years big. on there. Make me feel old. Six years. Um, that means yeah. like I... Wait, when do you graduate? Next, Next year. spring. I'll be done. Bro, that means... Uh, I can't even imagine being in school right now. Because you're about my age. 
Are you? You're I'm 25. Yeah, no, I graduated what do you in do? 2018. Podcasts. Um, uh, my main income is uh, me and my sister. We own nail salons and businesses in Greensboro. Okay. But uh, on my side, while everything is running smoothly with the managers, I do podcasting and uh, YouTube on the side. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's been pretty fun. And uh, right now I'm on tour. Uh, this is my second college on this tour. Okay. And then um, we're hitting up NC State right after this. So. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's make some meaning out of your time here then. Let's talk about something like like deep. What, what <laughs> kind of deep thing do you want to talk about? I have topics or do you want to, you um, have something in your in mind? Oh, I was going to say, uh, when you are when you start your music career, you should contact me and then we should get you on the actual podcast. Because we have that. a podcast where I, j I just genuinely talk to someone deeper on like, not like, this is formats like goofy, random, yeah. but that's in a deeper sense. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But yeah, what's the topic to. that you want to talk about? Well, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind okay. is that I just did seven grams of shrooms last week. Dude, that's crazy because <laughs> the topic I was pointing at is this, drug le legalization. Yes, let's talk yeah, about so it. Yeah, so you just took uh, seven grams of shrooms last night and right. I love that you're okay with being public because I'm also public about my drug use. Yeah. Um, first off, how was it? It was... Was it your first time? No, 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 no. So, like, I've, I've done, like, microdosing. I've done, like, at least, like... What was the first time? Whatever. First time was actually... Um, let me not actually say that. I was at I was at a job. Okay. Was the first time. <laughs> what? Wait. My the reason I asked you that was because were you in the time period of being religious? No. Cause yeah, cause I was about to say they frowned upon drugs. Yeah. Well, I started off with like weed and like I I didn't really care. I was religious at that point, but I just figured you know like it's just a it's just a plant, it just like grows like that. But, I feel like um, Jesus probably smoked. I think so too. Dude, I also have a theory that Jesus fucked bitches. Like, you think so? I, I absolutely, dude. Every <laughs> depiction of him is saying that he's charismatic. He's either gay or he's fucked bitches. It's one or the other. He's fit. Okay. He's hot. And I don't know. I mean, he's like a cult leader, right? Yeah. Every cult leader fucks. You're right. That's my theory. You're right. I don't know. So, no, um, and it's also is. super misogynistic, the religion. But yeah, anyway, it is, sorry. It is. You know, like Mary Magdalene. What? Who, Mary Magdalene, who was like basically like the 13th disciple. Oh, um, not really. She was like, so she was a prostitute that he like spoke to and was like returned yes, from here. I do and know her. She poured the I perfume do know her on then. his feet. The so she basically girl. followed him around and like followed the group around and stuff. And I kind of wonder sometimes like, was I like his gal? Absolutely. Gotta that was a side piece. Yeah. I'm telling you, dude, he fucked bitches. I believe you. I actually don't <laughs> think that his his depiction of the Bible, I'm not going to get so much fucking hate for this. Okay. I think the original depiction of whatever Jesus wanted got misconstrued through telephone so much because it got translated by, like, so many people. And religion Absolutely. was power, so all these priests were, like, translated to whatever they wanted as well. I don't know. There's a lot of fucked up people. I there. absolutely agree with you. And I think like when I look over the history of religion of all kinds, all it has been used for power. Mainly, absolutely. Mainly for control. Like, yeah, I mean, I like the, the, what is it? The K, uh, KJ, KJV, King James version. Oh yeah. That was one's completely redone. Weird. I was listening to a podcast the other day yeah. about like the origins of hell. And it starts like in, um, old ancient Egyptian religions, like came up with like the lake of fire and stuff. And oh my it never God. said anything about hell in yeah. our Bible or the Christian Bible until King James changed it. Yo, to fuck say King hell. James. I'm just playing. Not just playing. All right. Now hopping no, back into the shrooms bad. thing. Yeah, Seven yeah. grams last night. Did you see any weird shit? I've never um, hit that much. I've only well, microed. So, so, so the goal of it was to literally be in space. I remember my friend has been telling me to do it for a long time. He was like, you're in a place where you're introspective and self-aware enough that you can actually figure your shit okay. out if you try hard enough. Like, I'm not saying that, like, because I feel like before I took the shrooms, I was right. like, I was, I was resisting everything about like getting better as a human. I just wanted to be comfortable. But okay. the goal of the shrooms was to make me uncomfortable and to introspect and like meet my inner selves oh so you want you want an experience that i wanted you would like experience. ayahuasca then or like that maybe i yeah. feel like i mean like i've heard many things about ayahuasca and dmt and like that whole that whole side of hallucinogens where it's yeah. like it's painful it's like not yeah. fun but then it's fun after when you're like right. yeah i really want to do that i want to trip like hard shrooms you should so it's called a heroic dose research it first before heroic you dose. do it because like i, I think just like do it. shrooms are no but you if you do it if you don't do it the right way you won't introspect okay right. so How, you have to research it what's the right way so the thing about shrooms is that it has the power to literally heal your neurological pathways okay. and your traumas and stuff so if you want to do that and you want to embark on that journey then you need to take 
about five grams of shrooms. I did something called lemon tucking, where you soak it in lemon juice. I've heard and something then about you, this. Yep, and so it basically breaks it down in a way that makes it hit you more intensely and quicker. It only takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And then oh. it doesn't last as long either. That's insane. Yeah, so then you need to close your eyes, turn off all of your lights, so don't it, eat all day beforehand. Doing that makes it hit faster, but like, yes. le- oh, wow, okay. Yeah, So you're in, and it's going to be more intense too. And you turn off all the lights. Turn off all the lights. Some oh. people will blindfold themselves, but the goal of it is to take away all of the distractions distractions because you know like things are like breathing and yeah, moving yeah, and yeah, stuff and you don't want any stuff. distractions because you won't introspect and so you're doing this alone yeah wow that's scary i had a friend he he was like kind of like my little guru through this whole yeah. thing where he he had done it before yeah and so he was like telling me this is exactly what you need to do uh-huh. he'd done all the scientific research okay. there's data that backs it up you know was he in another room he was actually on the phone with me he would just text me oh. and normally they would say don't look at your phone either but this is a special case because I just, like, needed to text someone. I didn't need to talk out yeah. loud or it would have distracted me. Wow. So. Dude, I might have to try that. It's really interesting. Is it a specific type of shroom that you need or is it just. Psilocybin. Just, okay, mm-hmm. psilocybin. I mean, some are more potent than others, but I would say, like, if you take five grams of shrooms, you're going yeah. to fucking trip. <laughs> the problem that I have is uh, in three weeks I'll be in Amsterdam, but they don't do shrooms. They do truffles. Hallucinogen trophies, which is cousins of shrooms. Okay. But I don't know how that experience is. Many people, a lot of people that say, oh, they trip shrooms in um, Amsterdam, it's actually truffles. So I'm like, okay, let me see how this goes. Have you heard anything about the truffle experience? No. Okay. I just, I, I'm one of those who's like, if it doesn't kill me, I'm going to send it. Yeah. I'm going to at least try it once. There you go. Day. I mean, that's, yeah. the, that's the fun thing about mushrooms is I think that they might be the, like the safest drug that exists on the earth. Over sh- weed? Yes. Because shrooms? weed will give you carcinogens. We can't drive on shrooms. No, but like, um, if you're if you're taking it responsibly with anything, you have to be responsible. Oh, you're you're talking about safe in terms of like, like your it cannot body affect health. your health. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can agree with that. Yeah. I don't think weed can help affect your health either. Oh my though. god, yes, it can. Yes, it can. No, like if you're smoking weed in a format where it's not in a blunt, there's no tobacco in it. If you're, I don't. Weed well, maybe still turns maybe your lungs. Carcinogens yeah. in your lungs. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say maybe your lungs. I don't smoke that much weed. I'm just advocating for the weed smokers out there. No, I'm a weed smoker. I love weed. Mm-hmm. I'm never going to, well, I will stop eventually because I have to do an internship. <laughs> I, I had to stop. And then I got, I started getting anxiety when I smoked Yeah. because my parents caught me once like in, way back in high school and then it just fucked everything up. But I'm like slowly getting back into it, which is like tragic because I'm like, I'm going to be so unproductive if I start that smoking. Low tolerance. Yeah. yeah. And like, it, it. I don't know. I feel like weed just makes me so not productive. It used to make me productive, which is funny. So right? you're when you a lot first then. started, were you productive or were you not no. productive? I was skipping school, fucking yeah. go, pulling out latest fuck, not giving a shit about class. How do you feel about the uh, the diversity here? It's, it's, is it it's diverse? better than it used to be. Really? I will say, but it is not where it should be. Uh, I thought from my friends that this was a diverse school. Now I'm sitting mm-hmm. here. I'm like, it's not really diverse at all. <laughs> I, I feel like the. The places that I are think I'm the only Asian like, on campus. Really? Yeah. I'm Asian. I haven't a seen little. a single one. Are you really? <laughs> I'm Japanese. What? Oh shit! All right, we got one and a quarter. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. How the fuck did I know? Because uh, I don't look it. Uh, mom or dad side? Mom side. Do you know any culture thing? Well, my grandma. I'm trying to go next year. To Japan? Yeah, keep going. I want to go so bad. Water. No, you're good. Um, so flowers. my grandma like lived in my home with me growing up and stuff, and like most of our cuisine was Japanese. Like oh, the way yeah. that she raised me was very Japanese. Let's you know, I have go. that crippling like need to be wanted and not good enough that Asian people usually. Have. Me, as fuck. <laughs> you yeah. know, so that, that culture is deeply ingrained in me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and your your dad is white. I'm yeah, he's like Irish and like, Welsh. So do you get red when you drink? You're Asian oh yeah, Asian angry. flush hard yeah. mm-hmm. and Irish. So you're fucked. Yep. You're yep. really fucked. I, I'm curious. Do you have like birthmarks on your eyes? Because I've heard that that's something that only Asian people get. Birthmarks on my Do eyes. What the fuck does that mean? Look, they're called Mongolian spots. Do I? Look up. I no, you don't do. have them. You don't have them. I'm clean. <laughs> you're clean. That means you have STDs. <laughs> Damn. Um, I'm not just what do you think <laughs> the had statistic them since is? Out the womb. Of college students that have STDs. Oh God, I used to know the numbers. Um, it's right pretty now, high. It's, interesting. it's yeah. pretty high, isn't it? Like especially like uh, chlamydia. I've heard that. Um, oh, been there. What is it? There's one that's like coming back with a vengeance. What is it? It's yeah. the one that got syphilis. Sy- syphilis. Syphilis. Syphilis really? is coming back. Mm-hmm. I someone earlier on the podcast told me that um, ECU was one in four. 
was like, that's interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. So that means one, two, three herpes. One, two, three syphilis. <laughs> like, you know, isn't that crazy? Right. Exactly. I, I know that at one point ECU had its own strain of antibiotic um, resistant chlamydia. What the fuck? Yeah. We made Did it they own. call it like the pirate chlamydia or something? Like <laughs> I pirate wish. Me- media? <laughs> Are you? Do you have class? You're like straight chilling. No, nah, I'm done for the day. I was oh, just about to fuck. go home and make some dinner, yeah. and go to the gym. I'm definitely gonna borrow you for a sec and a little bit, so I can run to the bathroom and you can wash my equipment because I trust oh, you. Oh, absolutely. Because earlier Thank I was you. like, because ah, I usually do this with <laughs> someone, but uh, they they left after UNCW. I did UNCW yesterday, oh. and they left already. So I've just been soloing this. Uh, what's another deep topic you want to talk about? Another deep topic I want to talk Think about. about it. I'm gonna go pee real quick. Yeah, you go pee. I get to talk to your listeners. Yes. You can hold it down. You can talk. Whatever. All right, cool. <laughs> hmm. Wrote it down. Dude, yeah, for sure. How did you so bad? No, I feel that I was going to talk to your people, but then the moment you walked away, I'm like kind of high as fuck right now. So I was Are like, you? Blank oh, brain. Weed or what? Just weed, yeah. Facts. Just a little Same. Pen. Same? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you were. All right, hit me with one last good topic. <sighs> Damn. Okay, well. Dude, if I was high, I don't think I could do this. What? Said all this stuff. Really? Yeah. I'm I, not like that high. I'm like, I, dude, I like when I get high, I'm just like sit. I probably fall asleep. It's so warm outside. Yeah, no, I Yeah, how so are you good. even wearing that? Like, I was over here sweating. Honestly, I'm a little sweaty and I, I was going to take it off, but like, okay, so the walk from like my apartment over there to my classes, it's like it goes from being really hot to being really cold to being really hot because of the, the all, all the like trees everywhere and stuff. Is this a big campus? Pretty big, yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't mean, really well, explored. Actually, I don't think it's as big as like. Like, NC State is bigger. Well, NC State's, like, big in a weird way, though. Yeah. They're, like, big, but it's not, like, an actual... It doesn't feel like a campus. It just feels like you're in a city. I know. Where this, really cool. it feels like you're in a fucking campus. And I was, that's like, why I love it here. Like, I, I used to go to community college when I came back from my old school. Okay. So then, like, you know, that was boring, and there was no, like, patriotism within the community. So then coming right. here and getting to walk on campus, like, it's gorgeous. We have so many trees. Yeah, your guys' campus is, like, a real college. I went to UNCW, and it is kind of like a college, but it's smaller. It's a lot smaller. Except, I will say one thing. I just went to pee in there, and that building looks so shitty inside. <laughs> yeah, It looks, yeah, like, super are. old. Like, what the fuck? Do they not renovate? I mean, this is a, they're renovating the, um, the dorms right now. That's, like, their main project, and then I think they've started on some of the, like, oldest buildings, but this isn't even, like, the oldest one by far. What the fuck? So. All right, hit me with one last good topic before we go. Dude, I don't know. Do give, me, give me one right, of your topics. You, I got, you, you, got, got, you got you. I have a bunch. I just, let's see. The deepest They're one more you got. Deep? Wait, mm-hmm. what? The deepest one you got. What is it? I don't know, because I don't know if any of these are deep like that. <laughs> I mean, I have, like, have biggest fear and shit, like, basic shit. Okay. Uh, all right, let's dive into that. Biggest fear. Biggest it's tangible fear. and intangible. Mm. So well, tangible intangible. being like, be, like tangible being like, um, like a clown yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, I don't know if this is like a tangible one, but it doesn't feel like it would be the intangible one because it's stupid. Okay. Um, I have this really, really stupid idiosyncrasy about, um, ghosts. Big words. Yeah. What do you mean by, uh. Like, it's a, it's a fear that's stupid that I have the fear in it, but it, like, will literally give me a panic attack. Do you believe in them, I'm assuming, then? It's funny because, well, yeah, I didn't used to. But even, like, when I didn't used to believe in them, I would still be the same way. It's obviously better than it used to be. I can watch a scary movie without having to sleep in somebody's bed for a week Ooh, now. But okay. <laughs> I don't think that scary movie ghosts exist, but I do think that ghosts exist. I just oh, don't yeah. think that we perceive them in the way that they actually are. I agree that's with how that. I, I always say. They might be like spirits or some shit. Do you see them from the perspective of like they're just like kind of souls left over? Yeah, like they of. can't really do anything. They just are doing what they used to do. Kind of. Yeah. I don't know. I was raised Buddhist and they believe in that shit. Yeah. So, do you believe in know. reincarnation? That's a iffy one. I don't believe in anything. Really? Like anything could happen. I don't know. Okay. I'm not focused on it. I've been Until thinking. Until we die. Do you know what? You're right, but then I also kind of am in this place in my life where I'm like, dude, I'm Tripping gonna shrooms. freaking die. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, and it's like, what it's do you like, mean yeah, you're gonna die? You're 24. I'm 24, but like, I have never yeah, I felt to be younger. The 27 club. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've never felt younger in my life, but right. I've also never felt older <clears throat> because I'm realizing, like, well, one, I'm not invincible. I'm starting to see the toll that the things I've done in the past are taking on my body and on my mind. Okay. And that, like, things that I do have an effect on my future. What the fuck did you do that was that bad? Nothing. Just like smoking weed all the time. Like I, I used to fuck? smoke like five or six blunts a day, and okay, now my lungs are, are messed up. Yeah, and my skin is fucked. starting to like 
look different than it used to when yeah. I was younger and like, you know. And you're Asian. So my like that's what like. <laughs> I, know, I definitely don't have my mom's Asian skin yeah. and my dad's skin. Well, I that's a good fear, the ghost thing. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I don't really fear ghosts. I think I fear like my parents dying before I have kids. That's my fear. See, that's a way better one than mine. Mine is nah. so selfish. Nah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I have a tangible one. I don't fear heights or anything. I don't know. I think that's it, honestly. No tangible fears? I fear at getting like a uh, oh, getting a girl pregnant. That that's is a big freaking fear, scary. Actually, because the end them keeping it. That yeah. would be fucking terrifying. That's scary as fuck. Fuck a ghost shit. Do you feel any emotional like if you were to get a girl pregnant, would you feel any emotional attachment to that thing, growing inside Depends of on her? the girl. Really? Depends on the girl. Okay, fair yeah. enough. So <laughs> the the idea that the concepted thing as a human depends on how much you care for the girl. Oh, like, you mean, like, keeping the life? Yeah. Oh, 100% either way, I want it aborted. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's yeah. their it's their decision. Absolutely. So if they keep it, then I have to be there. Yeah. But I'm going to influence them with my, like, Game of Thrones intellect of, like, little fingeredness of persuading them to get an abortion. Okay, yes. Yeah. Consensually. Okay. Consensually, yeah. it's your <laughs> this choice. This is the podcast. It's going to be up not next Tuesday, but the one after that. The chewing Grounds. Yes. Dope. Follow me on Instagram and YouTube or whatever. Is this yeah. the Instagram too? Yes. So that's everything. It's not my personal, but that's my the Chewing Grounds. And you'll find my personal on there. Okay. Yep. Sweet. It's nice meeting really you. Nice Thank you so much. You. This was like the best combo so far. I know. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it was like really deep. Yeah. We'll have to keep in touch. Uh, yes, for sure. I'll follow you. Let's go. All right. Thank you. Take care. Have a good walk. Stay high. All right, have a how seat. How quick is this gonna be? Uh, how much time do you have? I don't know. My boyfriend's on the way. Okay, I'll make it really quick. Get your boyfriend on here. We can have both you guys. I have an extra stool right here for him. He's he's driving in. So okay. Gonna... Oh really? Yeah. What's your name? Kara. Kara Loon. Nice, nice to meet you. All right, Kara. What year are you here? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore. You have your boyfriend driving in from where? Sanford. He's where Sanford? The it's fuck near is that? like Fayetteville. Oh, so like the hood. So you got him driving all the way from Fayetteville. For, that's a good man. Where'd you guys meet? High school? Okay. Did you guys, where are you from? Sanford as well? Charlotte. Charlotte. What the fuck? How'd you guys meet? <laughs> Does he go to school in Sanford or something? Mm-mm. He lives there. How, how, Tinder, like how did this? <laughs> oh, there's, there's a story. There's a backstory. Okay, skip. skip. All right. How about this? Uh, what is your favorite quality in your boyfriend? Um, he's very kind. He's goofy. Goofy. I yeah. love a goofy goober. That's one of the best. What's the favorite and least favorite thing about going to school here? Um, that's a good question. There's no favorites. Fuck the school, right? <laughs> oh, there's a bug. Um, favorite? Mm, the people. I'm oh, on, really? I'm on some of the people. Okay. I'm on club dance, and they're very nice. Hi. You're there's on club dance? Oh. Yes. <laughs> shout out dance squad. Um, and they're very nice. So. Okay. How long have you been dancing for? Um, since I was three. It, is that like part of the student uh, athletics like club program? Sports. Oh, it's those clubs. Okay. Yeah. How hard is it doing a club and also being college? Not that hard. Because I never did that when I was in there. It's not bad. Oh, it's what's your major? A nursing intended. How the fuck are you doing nursing and all that? Intended, not in the. What does intended mean? Yet. I'm going to be applying to the nursing program. Ah, soon. so if there was a kid listening to this. Planning on going to ECU for nursing, what advice would you give them? Um, study chem. <laughs> okay, there you go. Just st- Wait, chemistry? Chemistry, Fuck yeah. chemistry. Wait, yeah, you do have to learn a lot of that in nursing, huh? Yeah, I had to take two chemistry classes. Do you want, do you want to be a, a nurse right, af- right out of uh, ECU? Yeah. And go, you also want to go to the nursing school here, I'm assuming? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they have a good program, right? Yeah. Uh, what is ECU known for um, besides parties? What? Besides, Besides parties. parties. Yeah. That's um, what I've heard, at least. Like their nursing program, business, and education. Mm, interesting. Think. All right. I'll end it real fast because I know you got to go. Okay. I don't want to do anything raunchy. You've been very sweet. I'll do <laughs> something less bad. I'm trying to find something. Oh, uh, have you been? Uh, how do you feel about the Greek life? Here? The Greek life? Have you been to anything? Nope. Okay. That's a bad question then. All right. How about this? Um, what percentage of college students do you think have as an STD. This is a, an STD. I want to see your guess. I feel like it's going to be high. What's high to you? Um, 
There is a right answer. There is a right answer. I just answer? googled it like earlier. Um, anywhere from like forty to sixty. Damn, you're shooting high. It's actually twenty five. It's okay. not that high. Okay, well, good. thank you so much for coming yeah. on. By the way, I don't want to hold you. you and tell your boyfriend I said hi. We'll do. Yeah, and this will be up not this next Tuesday, but the one after. Okay. And it's on YouTube and every platform. All right. Instagram. Sounds thank good. you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. What was your name? I'm Maya. Maya, nice oh, to meet you. Oh, I'm on you. video, too. You are on video. I this is a video. I just got out of a workout and okay. had to get my reward. Okay, what's your you reward know? here? This is the iced peach green tea lemonade. Okay, is that Very your go-to at Starbucks? No, really okay. not. I'm a coffee gal. Okay, so why yeah. why'd you switch it up? Um, because I was so hot and sweaty. You can't drink coffee when you're, like, mm. hot and sweaty. That's you can just... drink iced coffee. No. It's, like, so heavy and, uh, like, milky. I guess. I don't Do know. You... That's just me. Is there, just me. is there a good coffee spot on campus here? On campus? Hey. Um. Do you guys want to hop on after? <laughs> okay, gotcha. This I'm is... just talking. Hold on, I got you. Hold on. Yeah, this is my podcast. I'll give this to you guys. This is the name of it. Yeah, it comes on every Tuesday. This one's going to be up not this Tuesday, but the one after. Camera. Yeah, thank you. All right, so we're hopping back real quick. Um, yeah, is there any good coffee on campus? I had to get coffee earlier today, and I didn't fucking know where you guys had any. I got to say, uh, Starbucks is not my favorite anymore. Um, I'm more of a, like, small coffee shop, yeah. local place. So this is a good question. Yeah. How do you feel about the diversity on this campus? Because uh, I, I feel like I'm the only Asian here. Really? Yeah, I pulled up, and I was like, there's none of me. You, you're just not seeing yourself because you exist. I mean, look around real quick. Do you see any Asians? I saw one earlier. Not to be, like, weird, like, I'm noticing, but, yeah, you, I feel like our campus is pretty diverse. What's your major here? Um, kinesiology. Kinesiology. Jesus, yeah. that's really intelligent of you. That's Working awesome. Out. That's awesome. So you're fitting right in the mold of what you're doing. It's, too. Yeah, it's what I get to what, do. Uh, what it's year fun. are you? I'm a junior. Okay. Did you go to, uh, initially, when you chose ECU, what was the reasoning behind it? Um, honestly, I like the community here. Okay. I feel like it's a lot more like a family okay. than anything else. Really? Um, yes. ECU wow. feels more like community and like friendly than a lot of other campuses. I got into UNC Chapel Hill. See, I like wanted to be a doctor. Wow. And I got into their bio major and everything. And I was so shocked that I did. But it's such a competitive like culture there. Yeah. Did you visit ever? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I hated it. Yeah. I I, I toured it too. I was like, dude, I hate this place. Yeah. It's just not for me. I want to be around people who are nice, like oh, people waving to me right now. Oh, you got friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. Friends, friends uh, of the program or just randomly? Matt? No, just random. Hi, random friends. How are you guys? So I yeah. see that this is a really friendly campus. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's actually awesome. I, w I did not get that stereotype when I was I heard about ECU. I'm so sorry. No, no, no I, I think know. that's sick. We are pegged as the party school. Yes, but that's actually, people have already asked me yes. to ask you guys if you guys came here for parties. No, I don't go downtown. I went to um, like 5th Street one time and I hated it. How far is downtown from campus? Like two seconds. Really? It's like a five minute walk. Yeah, it's right there. Is that the place? Uh, oh, is that by all the stores and stuff? Like sub dogs and shit? Yeah, yeah, that's Oh downtown. my God, that's the downtown that's here? Downtown. The fuck? I was just there. That's crazy. Yeah. This is a really, you know what's funny about this town too? When you go outside the campus, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you from here or are you from somewhere else? No, I'm from Wilmington. You're from Wilmington. Mm -hmm. We were. The I beach. was just filming there yesterday. Yeah, cool. that's actually where I went to school. Okay, cool. Yeah, you didn't yeah. like UNCW? No. Yeah, you did not want to be at yeah. home, did you? See, okay, ECU feels like it is the city. Like, ECU really? as a college is Greenville. Okay. But right. UNCW is, like, a college uh, that yeah. happens to be in Wilmington. Yeah, I agree with that. And, like, it's fine, but if I feel like most people who go to UNC Wilmington, like, want to surf, want to go to the beach. Mm, you know? I did feel that way, too. Because that's all there is there. I have an important question. What is the most important factor or quality in a significant other? Ooh. Yeah. I think For someone who seemed timid going on the podcast, you're really like extroverted and talk. Like, oh my goodness, I am not an extrovert. Well, you're talking you. really well. Okay, thank you. Thank At you. first, you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to go on here. I was like, oh, she's going to be super shy. <laughs> yeah. Um, in a partner, I would say their willingness to like improve themselves and okay. that it's not just like Ooh, about them. That's a them. good one. Yeah. I'm actually engaged. That's a good Don't pick. know if you could tell. What's your favorite quality about him? Is it that? Um, my or favorite her. quality about him okay. is that he's loyal. He oh. is, like, loyal beyond belief. It's insane. Um, 
not that he would like go to every single length to do yeah. something for me, but I know that he's like all into the relationship. I have a good question with loyalty. Yeah. What is more important to you, loyalty or honesty? So by that, it's it's a business question because um, there's a famous uh, scientist named Lex Friedman who also debates this, mm -hmm. where when he hires a, a new person into his uh, group, he asks them what's more important, loyalty or honesty. So yeah. honesty being he's someone willing to hurt your feelings. Yes but they're telling you the truth or loyalty where you're, you're, you can tell a white lie yeah. because you want to stay loyal to them. No, I would definitely say honesty. Yeah. Honesty. Yeah. Really? I pick loyalty personally. Really? So yeah. you want somebody to make you feel good and like, not so much as that. I would rather, I feel like loyalty comes at, uh, at the price of like, they would know, I would hope they would know what to tell me and what not to tell me. I, I don't need to know everything. Yeah. There's yeah. parts and bits, but that's me personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. everyone's different. It's it's like the um, the concept. Uh, I had this written up. I, I don't have to ask you this. I was going to ask someone random, but because uh, you, you're engaged, so it's a little bit different. But I was going to say, like, if you had a perfect boyfriend and stuff and they cheated on you, uh, but, but he's perfect, would you rather not know and then everything goes smoothly or know and end everything? But it was like the perfect relationship. He's great father to your kids and all that stuff. Like, that, that's, a, that's a constant debate, too. Because then, like, would you rather know... That he has something going on? Well, then he wouldn't no. be perfect if he cheated. But everything else is perfect, is what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, you're right, well, you're right. Well, you know, honestly, I would rather know. Yeah. Because you seem like the type. that would mean that, like, he loves me enough to let mm. me know that I am not, I, I might not be meeting a need that he has. And is then I can improve myself so that our relationship as a whole is healthier. Oh, wow. And so he do doesn't you, feel like he needs to cheat. Do you think cheating is an automatic, you're done? Because you sound no. like you could still work on it. I would I would work on it. It's wow. not like an automatic. Yeah, I think You're I have enough like <laughs> grace knowing that we're all going to screw up in some wow. way. Wow. You're yeah. a really good person for that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't, I face that where I'm like, if I found out someone cheated on me, You'd I be like, know. bye. I think so. Yeah, I feel like that's the tendency. But I don't want I to so. like. I don't want to say I that. I mess up, you know? Yeah. Like. We're yeah, human. that's that's an interesting. What do you think is more? Um, no, I don't know anything about your fiance, but what would what do you think is more of an attractive feature if you're going to two different extremes in a guy? Okay, physically? No, no, no. So either one, extremely feminine, like extremely, like almost like you're dating a girl practically, right? Okay. Or the other end where you're extreme, like alpha male Chad Bradwick. If I had to choose, you an had extreme? to choose. You actually have to choose. Yes. Oh my goodness. And the answers have been all across the board that I've asked. So don't don't feel like you're going to be wrong either yeah. way. Yeah. I got you thinking out here. Yes, I know. This is that. actually a really hard question. Okay. Because <clears throat> I honestly, I feel like sometimes with the alpha male, like Chad kind of dudes, they can be very prideful. And that's just a stereotype, you know, but I feel like if you're going with that, extreme they can be more prideful and i don't like pride that is a major turn off interesting yes. would you say that's mm -mm -mm. the biggest turn off uh, or what is the biggest to you yeah being cocky mm -mm. interesting Big turn off. minus yeah. hygiene okay minus yes. that that's probably it's kind of a physical one but it's kind yeah. of not that might be a turn off for me but i don't have to worry about it because my fiance He's Smells clean. good. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and uh, you're in kinesiology. Does uh, your fiance go to school here as well? Yeah, he does. Wow. And when did you guys get um, engaged? We actually got engaged like two days after Thanksgiving this last year. And so. how old are you guys? Um, I'm 20. I'm okay. going on 21. Oh, my gosh. Close. And he's 22. Wow. So We're you young. guys found out early. Yeah. That's awesome. Actually, it's our first relationship for both of us. No fucking way. Yep. And uh, you're from Wilmington. Where is he from? He's from Cary. Oh, he's from Cary. Not far. Not mm -hmm. far. So, wow. That's amazing. And you guys met here? Yeah. My wow. freshman year. So, he's a year ahead of me. I met my freshman and year. And he, he was just like, I can't lose this opportunity. Yeah. I he how went did, for it. How did he do it or where did he do it? Okay. Well, Any funny story our dorms were like literally across the hall from each other. Okay. So, I, I knock this. on his dorm one night and like we end up talking for three hours in the middle of the night and getting to know each other. And then as we start hanging out, um, he's like, do you have feelings for me? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. I need to like spend some time with you, but I think like maybe. 
And he's like, cool, because I do. I have feelings for you. Anyway, it was a whole thing. And then, okay. don't even get me started. So this, were you guys kiss, even dating yet at no. that point? No, oh. no, no. We were just chilling, watching some Netflix. Not Netflix, but wait, chilling. So you, wait, did you guys get engaged before actually dating? No, oh, no, no. Okay, okay. Oh, you're telling yeah. me the whole story. Okay, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, the gotcha, whole gotcha, story. gotcha. Um, the actual engagement, he, like, had my best friend hiding in the trees. He took me to my favorite park. Oh, wow. In front of, like, this pond and everything. That and it was so a total cute. surprise. It was super cute. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. What do you think is the right age for kids? For kids? Yes. <laughs> Are you calling me a kid? No, I'm saying for having kids. Oh, I see. Oh, my bad. Um, no, you not. No, you were, like, you guys are almost my age. Having kids? I feel like everyone's different. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This beat is- Hit it. <laughs> It's gone. It's gone. You're good. It went away. You killed it. Oh, no. It's fine. But, um... Um, having kids. Everyone's different. Can yeah. you financially afford it? Okay. I think if you At what going, age do you think? For well, you. Do you think you'll be financially? 25 or 26. 25 or 26. We're in a, like, pretty cushy, like, very fortunate position. Yeah. Because he got a full ride to college. So oh, we're going to... Oh, fuck, yeah. And he already has a job offer, too. What's his major? Graduates. IT. That's amazing. Yeah. He's going to have a very stable job and income. Yeah. yeah. But, like, it feels like it's almost selfish to, like, want to have a kid if you can't afford it, you know? Absolutely. Because you're not giving them the quality of life that they deserve. I have a good question, and this is a deeper one. If you guys... By accident, I don't know how, but got pregnant, mm-hmm. right? What would the decision be from there? I would keep it. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Because you know that he he probably is the one because you guys are hitched and everything. Yes. It's kind of perfect. Yeah. He, it, it, I feel like if you had gotten engaged at this age, I feel like you would know that he would be good at a father. Yeah. Well, low-key, like, being a mom is my lifelong dream. <laughs> and I realized Asked that. to a lot of people, too. I truly realized that I, like, don't want to be a doctor anymore. Yeah. Um, when I was in college and I chose an easier major, something that I enjoy because, you know, what's the point of living life if you don't like it? I absolutely agree with that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And what was, do you have an Instagram or anything that you want to shout out? Oh, none. <laughs> I have one, but, but yeah, you, you don't guys are put not going to find Yeah, me. I got mm. you. Well, thank you so much. This is the podcast. Yeah, it's not going to be up this Tuesday, but the one after. All right. It yeah, was a good thank time. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. You can put the mic right on the chair. Sorry for throwing yeah. it. You're good. No, it was actually hilarious. I'm going to keep that in there probably. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Well, now we're all going to meet. So have a seat. Why are you scared? Because I don't know what you're going to ask. You can have a seat on here, man. It's like a little stool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your guys' names? Taylor. Taylor. Ta- Wait, what? What the fuck? What? <laughs> They're both names Taylor. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? You guys don't know each other? No. Uh-uh. What year are you guys? I'm a freshman. Yeah, same. What the fuck? We just met two <laughs> Taylors. This is a majestic moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, my sure. God. All right. What, uh, you guys are both what years? Sorry. Freshman. Freshman? Freshman, yeah. Wow. How do you guys like it so far? It's um, all right, to be honest. I like it. It's a lot. It's a lot? What do you mean by that? Like school? School, or parties or parties. Yeah, how is the parties together. here? They're fun. Yeah, a lot of people have asked me. Um, They're really fun. <laughs> my followers wanted to ask the ECU students uh, how the parties are and if any uh, cr- crazy party stories yet for you guys. Um, Either whoever wants to go first. I have none. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really go to parties. Okay, there's nothing uh, wrong with that. Yeah. You're a good kid. Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know about that. I <laughs> uh, see. I don't have any crazy like stories. I just have like a bunch of like guy drama that happens any that you're willing to share or no guy yeah, drama jeez all right hit me with one hit me with one they're not gonna know who i am are they no? nah unless you want to put your instagram on it no i'm good all right there you go um so i was talking to this guy in a frat oh god and <laughs> <laughs> nice this is the best start yeah. oh yeah a nice little chad yeah, that's okay. not even close to his name, to be honest. Brad. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, no. Dad. It wasn't Brad. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> oh, dead. Yeah, we were talking for, like, a good, like, three months. Okay. And then, like, I went to his house one day because he told me I could go because I didn't have anywhere to park. Okay. So he left me there for, like, two hours. And while I was there, he never showed up. And I <gasps> sat on his couch and watched Forrest Gump and cried for, like, two hours. Why Great he was movie. fucking another bitch. <gasps> no! No fucking See, way. No, oh my lord. No, it gets better. So Wait, he was doing it at her place or at his place his, while you place. were. Oh, it's still fucked. So, you know what I did? I went and. Um, <laughs> I fucked his neighbor. Dude, you're <laughs> fucking I'm, savage. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, yo, that's, that's one way to do right, it. I'm gonna give you a scenario. You're hanging out with a girl, right? Mm-hmm. And she just gets back from fucking a dude. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? 
Are you fucking the neighbor? Nah, I'm just dipping, to be honest. You're dipping? I'm just saying, fuck you. Nah, I'm trying to think of what I get, do. You have to get revenge. Well, see, I don't like to do I that, somebody though. somebody else in return, but if anybody ever hears this, I'm screwed. Because they know exactly who it was. <laughs> well, hopefully it doesn't get passed around ECU. I would hope not. I don't know. Wait, but like, where are you, like, located? Like, I'm on YouTube and Spotify and shit. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll see. I'm not that big, but I don't know. I don't know. I can't. No promises. But if anything were to happen, just reach out to me and I'll cover it up. Okay, well, um, to... Oh, oh, you're still going in on this? Yeah. Let's go. I didn't know there was going to be more. <laughs> yeah, what else happened? So, the neighbor was in the same frat as him. No! Oh. I'm fucking dead, and dude. Then, you're fucking, you're a savage. And then, while we were talking, I wasn't, like, ready to settle down, but I was. Mm -hmm. But I got vulnerable about him, so I started talking to his G little. Yeah. yeah. Which is, like, in his Oh, fam. so he was older. Yeah, he okay. was a junior. Oh. So I started talking dog. to his G little. Yeah. Yeah. You're so a dog. To oh my, oh my god. god. Taylor, you are a dog. <laughs> um, on the completely opposite spectrum, yeah, what are you guys types when it comes to guys and girls or guys oh. or girls? Um, straight teeth, fluffy hair. Brown so a frat hair. guy. Yeah, yeah perfect. Frat guys. Yeah. Frat guys. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. It's really bad, actually. <laughs> Tall or I'm assuming? Tall. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What about you for like girls? Six foot at um, least. My taste in girls is kind of unique in a way. Uh, almost no one here is like it. Uh, I like people who are open to all kinds of music because okay. music I listen to I isn't really. Uh, what kind of music? I listen to metal. Oh, I, so, the girl I'm talking to listens to metal. Really? So I feel okay. That. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's like the biggest thing for me. Yeah. Because it, for me, if you can't accept other genres of music, why? You know? I feel like, I agree. and this is just something that I noticed when I was in college. Mm -hmm. um, the your age group or like while you're in college is not going to listen to everything absolutely not it's, no. it's not until after that you find people like yeah. oh they're you're weird as fuck too yeah. perfect yeah, yeah Honestly, that's, that's, what what I'm, that's what i'm expecting to happen what you're say, i feel like a lot of guys or not even just guys like a lot of guys and girls like the most of like the people in college listen to like rock music maybe like, maybe like now <laughs> yeah like, so I know so many people that just, like, sit down and listen to rock music. And, really? like, a lot of, like, mm -hmm. bar, like bars, they'll have people come sing, and they sing rock music. Wow, right? that's interesting, because when I went to I college, like it was rap. It was, like, really? predominantly mm -hmm. rap. And well, like, if they, they have, have, like, frat DJs and, stuff. and frat parties, yeah, they yeah. do that. But then they'll play, like... What's your least favorite fraternity on campus? Oh. And your most favorite? Hit um, with both. I'm just curious because I feel like you know the knowledge. You yeah. got the tea. Mm -hmm. My favorite is Sig Pi. <laughs> Sig Pi. Okay. Shout out to Sig Pi. What's, what's your least favorite? Um, my least favorite. Let me think of one that actually has done something to me. And what's your favorite dirty. metal band? Uh, metal band. Oh, <sighs> God. Well, she's just thinking. Yeah. Uh, think about right now, it's probably Invent Animate. Okay. Uh, do you like, like, Deathcore or do you like... Yeah, like I like pretty much everything, to okay. be honest. Uh, you need to check out Necrogoblicon. Necro Goblica. I think I've on heard that. of that. The actually. main singer's a fucking goblin, really? bro. I'm seeing Lorna Shore on Sunday. Oh, okay. that's fucking. That's yeah. death. Yeah. That's like real. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I, my friend, my, we we listen to metal, but we da I dabble. I don't really like listen, listen. Right. But my friends do, and they they show me Lorna mm -hmm. Shore, and I was like, oh my god, I don't oh, understand yeah. anything. He's yeah, saying. I don't either, but I love <laughs> it. So, I feel that. Um. All right. We're, worse. I don't really have anyone that's like the worst. Like, cause none of them are really like terrible. I mean, okay. there are some that are terrible. I just don't. You just don't associate. To say yeah. That, like, they're bad. So I'm not gonna. Are you say in Greek bad. life? Yeah. You seem like you were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What sorority? I'm in Zeta. Oh, okay. Okay. Zeta I heard the Zeta here is good. Actually, yeah. yeah so good for you. Okay, but back to that. <laughs> if I had to pick one, I would say I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. Ka, but only because one of them did me dirty. Ka, okay. yeah. the very southern one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only reason I still like sick pie is because I'm friends with most of them still. Oh, facts. Yeah, so it's fine. Well, holy shit. Um, your what were your guys majors? I'm information computer technology. Wow. Right yeah. Well, I'm biology, but I'm changing it to business. So. Okay, so you're just trying to graduate really fast, and then you're <laughs> what are you doing after? Um, like after school. Yeah. Uh, What's your game plan? I don't you have well, you guys. I are don't young. fucking yeah, know. Yeah. I'm be honest. Well, um, that one has a. I'm probably just gonna uh, find some big company. Yeah, to I was work gonna for. say because that's very um, pipeline. Like yeah, you, you have a you have a route where yeah. business is more vague. Mm -hmm. What would you want to do? I want to start my own like business. Okay, so okay. entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have any that's idea cool. on what yet or no? Fashion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very, uh, very competitive. What mm -hmm. would what would be your competitive edge? Yeah. 
What do you mean by that? Like, what would make you different from other fashion brands, do you oh think? God. Or do you, you haven't thought into it yet? <laughs> I haven't got that deep into it yet. Okay, I got Just you. Just an idea right now? That. Just an idea. Okay. But I know I want to do something in fashion. All right. Okay. I have a good one to close it out for you guys. Um, okay. I'm going to do a fuck, Mary kill for each of you guys. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm okay. going to start with you. All right. Um, Hillary Clinton, uh, Lizzo, <laughs> and Fiona from Shrek. Um, do you know who Lizzo is, first of all? I do, I okay, do. Okay, good, perfect. I'm sorry, um, that was good. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. I did a lot of uh, thinking on these. That's the toughest question I've probably ever been asked. <laughs> yes. I, that, is, that is such a tough one. Um, I'd probably... Hillary, Lizzo, and who else? Hillary Clinton, Lizzo, and Fiona from Shrek. I'd probably kill Hillary Clinton just because I don't want to deal with politics. I don't want to <laughs> deal right, with so politics. We, had, we, we have a kill with I, Hillary. The I, last I don't person killed deal with Lizzo. Politics. So I feel that. Okay. I feel that. No, right. I'm fine with Lizzo. I'll uh, marry, I guess. I'll marry... Mary Lizzo wow. for the money. Okay, yeah. smart play. Uh, fuck Fiona. Okay, and then for you, I have uh, Jake Paul, Ted Bundy, and Andrew Tate. <laughs> okay. Wait, who's Andrew Tate? Oh, okay. What? I'll swap that up. Um, <laughs> Jake Paul. I feel like I know who it is. Jake, Jake Paul, Paul, Ted mm. Bundy, and Jeffrey Dahmer, who's actually gay, but <laughs> let's throw this in shit. there. He's okay, still I'm gay while you're doing it. Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, definitely okay. killing Jeffrey okay. Dahmer. Okay. Um, I'll marry Jake Paul. Like he's fucking crazy, but and it's you're fine. fucking Ted Bundy. Let's and I'm fucking Ted Bundy. Oh, Lord. You, oh, might no. yeah, you might be the one. Yeah, you might be the one girl. He was hot. He was hot. He was hot. And there was one and girl. Girls got away. Yeah, I was about to say there's yeah. a few girls that got away yeah. with it. Or at least one. Yeah. Could you guys imagine like? That, what was your what you Does that fix it though? Does that? <laughs> I don't think it I does. Mean, I don't know. I'm imagine, be imagine being the girl. That like when it's all said and done, be like, yo, my pussy was so bomb. That's he true. He didn't kill That's me, but yeah. like, he still let me mm -hmm. smash. Like that'd yeah. be crazy. He wanted more. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Uh, thank you, Taylor oh, yeah. Square. I'm gonna give you guys the stickers for the podcast. It's gonna be up not this next, not this Tuesday, but the next one. Okay. okay. Yeah. This I'm coming Tuesdays. Watch this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. I won't post your Instagram on it. Okay. And um, what's uh, um, hold up. Yeah, because if you do, the people. Let me get your guys' uh, Instagram on my personal. Okay. And I was share. Because I go to a couple metal things, too. Okay, so, same. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know, but I'm going to It's up to you. What's your What's your Instagram, then? Um, let me look at it. It is Taylor, which is pretty easy to spell. Taylor. Madison. Madison. Which should be easy to spell. And then the last is Trito. T-R-E-T-O. All right. Okay. She's down to share it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Um, and Taylor Squared, what are the odds? Both of you guys have the same fucking name. <laughs> Thank you all. You guys take care. Have a good class. Do you What's your guys' names? Uh, I'm Kelly. I'm You're Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. I'm Izzy. Loon, nice to meet you guys. And you guys go to ECU, of course. What, yes. uh, what year are you guys? Freshmen. freshmen. Both freshmen. Yeah. How has it been so far? <laughs> oh, shit. You guys hate it here, huh? I don't like it here. She likes it here, though. I like it. It's just... Interesting. <laughs> can you uh, can you guys elaborate on the reasons? I'm I'm curious why you don't like it. And I'm curious why you. Like. I I've n I've never been on this campus. Yeah. This is my first time ever. So the campus itself is really beautiful. It's really small and it's easy to walk. Um, it's like really nice. Yeah. Um, it's so pretty. We can put this down if you need. Just because I know you're like. I'm good. Okay. Cool. Um, cool. <laughs> it's the classes. Okay. Are like a mixture of too easy and also like a lot of work. Yeah. Like they're too easy, but they give you so much work. Like, it's That's easy, so but weird. it's a pain in the ass. I had heard a stereotype that mm -hmm. ECU was pretty relatively easy. Yeah. yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah, it's easy, but, but it's But they give a you lot. a fuck ton of stuff. That sucks. What's your major? I'm anthropology. Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you don't like it for the class reason. Yeah, and I've had some, and I've been here for two semesters, and I've had some, like, not great professors as well. Have you used Rate My Professor? No. Oh, that's the reason. Yeah. Well, like, whenever <laughs> I used to sign up for class, I was in college a long time ago, but mm -hmm. whenever I signed up for class, I had to use Rate My Professor. That's the only way you could trust if the professor is going to be easy yeah. or hard. Yeah. But then fresh, it was your freshman, I mean, first ever semester. Well, this is your second now, right? Yeah, this is our second semester. Is it any better? It's better this semester. Okay. For me, yeah. At least. yeah. You have well issues it, this semester, though. My first semester for me, it was better. Yeah. Um, but I think that was just because we had a lot more people. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So what's, what's your reasoning as to why you said you like it, but not like, it's not like all that. Um, so first semester was really cool. We had a lot of friends, but then we had like a big fallout. Oh so, no! <laughs> yeah. Wait, can we share any of the tea or no? Is that like private? Private? We can share tea. We can share tea. All right, tea. let's fucking yeah. tea down. Okay. What, yeah. what the fuck happened? 
um, with these so friends? I'll let you explain. We had a very big friend group at the okay. beginning of the year. So we live in a dorm. Okay. And um, on move-in day, everybody was just, like, chilling, moving in, and we just met everyone as right, we were as moving you in. Right, yeah. yeah. My, I remember that. I was the one who kind of connected everybody because my door was open. Okay. Yeah. So so which dorm is this, by the way? It's I don't Jarvis. That one right there. It's Jarvis. Oh my God! There's it's right there. Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah. Okay. Um. So we met basically everybody on our floor, and we like immediately formed this like 20 person friend group. Oh, that's fucking <laughs> sick! Do you guys um, have like group messages and yep, shit? Yeah. Hell yeah! Let's go. Um. So we made this really gigantic friend group, and then something happened last semester. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to tell me what, but yeah. can you tell me the category of what happened? Um, Just like a, a general basis. One of our friends um, was hospitalized. Okay, okay, heard it. Heard and it. someone, something else happened at the exact same time. Yeah, it was someone thought someone snitched on somebody else. Yeah. Oh, shit, I am on board, I'm on board. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> that happened. someone thought someone snitched. Which didn't happen. They were just being annoying. Okay. And um, this is someone else, not one of you two, right? Yeah. Okay, got yeah. it. Got it. So um, that group fell apart right. for the most part, except like six of us stuck yeah. together. So there were like two halves of okay. the falling out. There was us and like five other people that stayed together afterwards. Uh-huh. And then there was yeah. a second group that stayed together with each other after <laughs> Okay. This, this is crazy. This is like Kardashians right now. Yeah. It's really, it's terrible. I'm loving this. And so that friend group was pretty solid. Um, like our like little six, seven person friend group was pretty solid. It was. It was. It um, was. Don't you feel like having a smaller group is more tight though? Yeah. Because once you yeah. have a big group, it's like they, it there's groups kind of, within the group. It was unique. Yeah. Yeah. It was better with less people. And Greek then, life. And then we had more drama. Because you brought a new person into the friend group. I introduced someone <laughs> to the friend group. And they didn't fuck with that person? No. Basically, um... Is this... Was this as an SO or something? No. Like, okay, just a, f- a friend. It was a classmate. It was someone I met okay. in one of my classes, and I introduced them, and a lot of people didn't I like I fucking her. love your shirt. I just noticed it's young blood. Thank Fuck you. Yeah. All right, I like your tattoos. Thank you. I feel like there's not a lot of people like me here, which is fucking hilarious. It, yeah, no, it's yeah. bad. It's, but yeah, keep going. absolutely nobody We'll talk like about that right after this. But <laughs> yeah. yeah so I introduced someone to the friend group. You didn't like them. Someone else didn't like them. And Wait, why didn't you like them? Okay, I heard it, heard it. You don't have to say it. I, I kind of am on board, I'm on board, I'm on board. All right, good to you. Yeah, so I introduced them, okay. and eventually people started warming up, and then right before winter break, something happened between two of the friends in the friend group. Heard it. And so they were fighting. Oh, my God. And the person I introduced used this as leverage to get in and start talking shit. Oh, fun. Um, so what she was doing was she was telling me and Kelly that this other person was talking shit about us. Oh, my God. And she was saying the same exact thing to the other person. Yo, f- what the <laughs> hell kind of snake shit is this? No, this literally. is crazy. So we get back from winter break, and this girl's not talking to us anymore. Yep. That that yeah, yeah, yeah. we were fine with yeah. and so she approaches us she's like hey you've been talking shit and we're like no no <laughs> so now is it just you two or is yeah. there any other wow yeah. from 20 the, to 2 uh, two of our friends dropped out what why yeah. was it the two that one of them was hospitalized no no oh just um, like, the one the one that's hospitalized is still here yeah well good for, good for that person yeah. yeah so two of our friends dropped out okay um we were supposed to live with both of them <sighs> next year <laughs> tragic that, was terrible. That what are you guys going to do now? We're living together. Just you just two? two of yeah. us. Yeah. Is there just a the two, two uh, person set up We're, here? We got an apartment off campus. Off campus, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be. How far is off campus? It's like a 10 minute walk. Okay. Oh, okay. That's fucking yeah, easy. What like, the hell? That's not even right, off campus, it's like really. like right downtown, yeah. And I can have my dog. Well, yeah. I also noticed something yeah. since you mentioned downtown. Um, downtown's right there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah. I've never seen a college like that. Yeah, it's literally right there. Like, yeah, my college was like mad far from downtown. Yeah, it's such a college town. It's insane. It's literally right there. It is a college town. Where are you guys from originally? Um, I'm from Winston. You're from Winston. You're by me. Where are Durham. You from? Durham, not too far. I'm from no. Greensboro. You're from I'm right Greensboro. Oh, Winston. Okay. But I know Winston 30 minutes well. outside of Winston. I know Winston very well. I have yeah. a lot of friends there. And um, we, the quarry and all the little nice. knickknacks, like a fucking Krispy Kreme yeah. came from there. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite Youngblood song? Sorry, random. Um, Parents. Parents? Yeah, it's the best fucking song. When he said that, fuck my best friend. And I was like, yo, fuck yeah, <laughs> yep. good for you, dude. I played that oh, song. that's that song? Yeah. I didn't. I don't. I, I don't know uh, song names. I used to be a huge fan of that whole group, like yeah. all him and his friends. Yeah. Actually, I'm seeing some one of his friends this weekend. Really? Yeah, in Raleigh. Yeah, he, nice. Tosh, the drummer. He's a drummer for uh, this TikTok kid named Jaden. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's a pretty kid, but 
he's like pop music. Yeah. It's like pop rock. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What kind of music do you listen to? Um, I All have a very different? wide music taste. Okay, I, I listen that. from everything from literally country music. I like your music. tattoo. I listen from country music to K-pop. Ooh, so, okay. And everything in between, like metal, all of that. Okay, um, I just had a metal head on like, right before yeah. you. Yeah. Um, and what about you? Um, I. So not I used everything. To, <laughs> no, not everything. Country. Um, I. Okay, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> no. I was gonna judge you. No. I don't really <laughs> Short country. answer: You listen to what I play for you. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. But before that, I would just listen to like whatever came on the radio. Mm -hmm. So she uh, wears the pants. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I mean, well, I'm the one driving, so. Yeah, it is your car. Uh, okay. It is her car. All yeah. right, all right. Yeah. Um, you said you listened to metal. What? What's your favorite metal band? Um, This is crazy. This is the first time I've ever met two metalheads. I like Korn. Okay, classic. Oh. A classic new metal band. And it, like, okay, so ICP doesn't really count as metal. But what's it's ICP? Insane Clown Posse. Oh, yeah. They're yeah, kind of metal. Really. They're like on the yeah. edge of metal. You need to check out this new band. It's called Necro Goblicon. I am in on them deep. They're like the, one of the only metal bands I fuck with. Yeah. The main singer dresses up as a goblin. Nice. It's fucking Wait, tight. What? Nice. Yeah, yeah. He's like in character like all the time. It's so sick. I also so like cool. um, Ghost. I don't know Ghost. Ghost, yeah. Ghost is good. Ghost is good. Um, and you said you got, you, you also listened, you said uh, country to what? K-pop. K-pop. Yes. What K-pop do you guys listen to? Um, so oh, I'm our, perfect. Yes. Our I favorite look like group is Stray star. Kids. Which one's that? Stray Kids. Kids. Oh, um, I do know Stray Kids. I know Stray Kids. Yep. Barely. Yep. I have uh, dated people in my past that are really into K-pop, and I've dabbled. Mm -hmm. I don't know too much. I know, like, the classics, like, BTS. I actually knew old K-pop. Yeah, like, like first gen. Like, big, yeah, Big Bang and, like, yep. all the OGs. Yep. Uh, yeah. There's a um, newer one that's good. No. Uh, ATs is all right. ATs. ATs is good. I like ATs. ATs. I like yeah. Jackson Wang. He's, I mean, he Jack used to be in a K-pop band. <laughs> I fuck with him. He's in 88 now. We had tickets to see him this well, summer. Like him or 88? We do. still have tickets. Like, so, Head in the Clouds or him specifically? Jackson. Wow. Specifically Jackson. We I want to go to Head in the Clouds. We were going to see him in Brooklyn this summer. Wow. But How do you I, feel about the new album? It's good. Really? Yeah. I don't think it's great. I like, I some like of, his old music. I like some of the songs. Yeah, okay. Interesting. He's a lover boy. How do you guys feel about, um, God, what's that controversial K-pop guy? Fuck. He's a pretty boy with a bunch of tattoos. Or a bad boy. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Not, not Jackson. Well, Jackson there's Wang. And then the, there's... Jackson uh, is a pretty boy Who sings uh, Aquaman? Fuck. I got to figure this out. It's going to bother me. Aquaman. Jay I Park. I've heard of that. Jay, Jay Park. Park. You guys know who Jay Park is? He's controversial now. He's always been. He's always been for his... Uh, how he treats girls and like how douchey is. Oh. Yeah. But he makes a great sex song. It's called Aquaman, and low key, that shit slaps. <laughs> Are you guys on any dating apps? Not anymore. Uh, no, not anymore. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Is this just a shitty experience? Yeah. yeah. What dating app were you guys on? Tinder. Tinder. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how was on campus? Yeah. Yeah. How was that? Bad. Any Any funny Tinder pickup lines? Oh, I had this one about a Sorry, spoon. Sorry, guys, there's a fucking guy behind me that's blowing the shit. I hope you guys aren't hearing that, but yeah, continue. I have this one about a spoon. A spoon? Okay, so <laughs> they were a big spoon, and they needed a little spoon. Oh, my God. I was thinking something completely different. Okay. <laughs> All right. Got you. I, think the I was thinking, like, you wanted to, like, use that as, like, a eating out your ass or something. All right. Interesting. So no, they I wanted to spoon you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. They, they needed a good. little spoon. They need, yeah. Okay. Because they were a big good. spoon. Yeah. I think the worst one I had was... <laughs> huh. um, my heart is pounding inside of me, and I wish I was pounding in you. Classy. That was that was a bad one. That's a classy one. I never understood the concept of those lines. Yeah, no. I feel like what's the, what do you think the success rate is on that? Because it has to have something in order for like them to keep 15%. sending it. That's crazy. Like to me. less than most, 15%. Yeah, most of it's pretty much just like fuck buddies. Oh yeah, Tinder is just people wanting sex completely. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely. I, I would say like Hinge is probably more serious. If you wanted yeah. something serious, what do you think is the right way to approach? Uh, like, if there was a guy right now walking by, okay. that's yeah. your type. Or wait, are you guys straight or bi or what? First. I'm pan. You're pan. Okay. If there was a guy, girl, or whatever, uh, are you straight, bi, pan? <laughs> okay, it's really so funny that you asked that. Also pan. Uh, Probably. No. A, no. No. Straight. I don't know. But <laughs> into K-pop stars. 
Yeah. Okay, there you go. For so sure. there's a K-pop star that walks by. Okay. Felix, uh, and then Felix, for you, Felix walks by. There you go. Or Wang, whatever. And or and then for you, anyone mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they have to hit on you. Mm-hmm. What is the preferred way for them to approach you? What are what should they say? What kind of things should they say or do? To where you will feel comfortable and you're like, okay, I like this person. Or should they not approach you and play the long game? And be like, oh, hey. Oh, no. Just, yeah? No. Kelly's impatient. No, I'm impatient. Okay. I need it to happen right then and there. All right, so how is it happening? Okay, so he walks up and is like, hey, you look really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like you fantasized this already. <laughs> she, like, has it down to a fucking oh, yeah. T. All she right, so, yeah. so the guy comes up and he does that. Yeah, and then he asks for my number, and then we just go hang out, and then we go on a date, What's and the then we date? get married. What's the ideal date? <laughs> One date and then you're married. <laughs> um, the ideal date is I don't know. I just want to have fun. Okay. I don't want to sit there and just watch a movie. You know, I want to actually. Yeah, I hate like, movies. I like actually <laughs> want to get to know the person. Valid. <laughs> yeah. No, movie yeah. dates do suck. I feel like that's like a late like you're in a relationship already kind of date. Yeah. Because how are you gonna talk to them? They're not fucking movies. You're just trying to fuck y- at yeah. that point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then for you, someone beautiful walks by and or handsome or whatever, and then uh, they. Uh, would you want them to approach? How would you want that to happen? Um, There's a lot of looks going around. I'm so <laughs> confused right now. There's insiders. I know there is. <laughs> so we were actually just hanging out in the student center with the person that I'm talking to. Perfect. This is, um, how did that person approach you originally? Tinder. It was actually Tinder. We just talked shit about Tinder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really funny, though, because it was Tinder and then it wasn't. So okay. we met on Tinder. Okay. We exchanged Snapchats, and then we talked for a bit and then you got a significant other and i stopped talking to them oh tragic and but then, that person waited in line yes nice and so now we're talking again okay and so how did he reapproach or she or they, they um reapproach so it was actually me I was oh like, you yeah. dog yeah so i reached Good out for you i reached out i was like hey i know i'm an asshole for like dipping when I got a partner yeah Um, I was like but I'm still interested in like seeing where this goes if you want and they were like fuck yeah so oh that's awesome so yeah I was just like really forward and what do you both think is the most important physical and uh personality trait and quality in a significant other um honesty really honesty would you value honesty over loyalty and um, what that means is like, uh, in business terms at least, is like yeah. someone that would prefer you to not like be happy, but like stay, like there's certain things that they wanted to lie about so to protect you. Or do you want just the straight fucking truth all the time? I want the straight truth okay. all the time. There's nothing wrong with that. Because I feel like if you're going to be with a person, you need to be good with the good and the bad. Okay, big facts. Yeah. You know. All right. So, so honesty is really important. What about a physical for you? Um, and then we'll go to you. I don't know. I just like tall people. I was literally. I was literally gonna say what's that. a what's a what's the minimum? What's the minimum? Um. Well, I'm taller I'm, than you. <laughs> well, taller than me. I'm five two, so it's not that hard. So the minimum's five three. Yeah. Would you date someone your height? No. Fuck, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, y'all gotta buy some stilts, you short motherfuckers. But uh, uh, what about you? Um. So. Like emotional, I guess, is like willing to have open communication. So like the honesty thing. But okay. Like, Communication is really important to me. Yeah. I agree with communication. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Um, yeah. And then physical. Mm-hmm. I don't really have any physical preferences. At all? At all. None. None. There's no way. Okay, well, here's the thing. Every time I see you think that somebody's cute, they're always like... There's got to be some. There's like always like the vibe, you know? The vibe is always it's like... It's like their aura. It's not the way they look, though. They're you, always like, okay. You knowing her, do you think she has a type? Yes. Okay, what's her type? Like, so they usually have like some kind of like dyed hair. Okay, um, colored dark hair. Dark clothes. Dark clothes. Um, so far, you're describing me, but yeah, continue. Yeah, no, pretty much you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, seriously? I was joking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. No. That's why you guys were looking over here coming off the pocket. Now I'm just fucking joking. <laughs> but uh, that's fucking hilarious. I'm. Yeah. You're not gonna find any of that on this campus. Nope, I'll tell you no. that much. I found the. I found the one. Yeah, yeah, I was uh, I was looking around. I couldn't even find Asians. I found like three Asians all no, day. No, yeah, there's, there's none. none. Yeah, there's none. Um, there was one, and he's in Japan now. Yeah. Oh, really? An exchange yeah, student? No. 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 He got- 
the fuck happened? Why is he in Japan? <laughs> Felonies. <laughs> Felonies. <laughs> in Japan? Here. No, here. That's so why did? he went to Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Is he Japanese? Yeah. Yeah. Half. The fuck? Yeah. Yeah. That's another. Kind of it was part of the big friend group. Yeah. What the fuck? What kind of felonies are we talking about? Like, you don't have to Larceny. get- Larceny. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> See, in the Yakuza? That's fucking crazy, dude. Um, yeah, you guys are rich. fun. You guys are dope. Uh, I was trying to think if there are any last closing. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull up the notes. We're gonna do a closing statement. You guys will be my last group. Okay, alright. Cause yeah, I don't really want to talk to anybody else. I'm tired. No, that's valid. I yeah, I also like, I have to go to NC State after this. Oh. Um, my yeah. Kind oh, of. Yeah. Durham, yeah. And then I'll be in Durham uh, next Thursday for Duke. Oh, yeah. seriously? Okay. Yeah, Where else have you chapel. been so far? Um, College-wise, I, so I do normal podcasts, too. I do, like, uh, with different guests, like Miss USA and, like, um, like boxers and, like, mm-hmm. random random people, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, for college, I've done UNCG, A&T, um, which you know because that's closer to our area. Mm-hmm. Um, I did Downtown Greensboro, which was just, like, a drunk one. And then... <laughs> Oh, Georgia Tech. And then on this tour, I just did UNCW. It's you guys right now. Right after you guys is NC State. Next week, I continue and I do App State, uh, Wake Forest by your area. Yep. And then I'll do Duke and Carolina at the same okay. time. Yeah. And that will be interesting because they're very, like, white. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. The, that duo, oh, yeah. No, gonna I was going to say, I was going to say, yeah. Duke more is going to be. More yeah. white than here, which is impressive. Yeah, I know. Uh, actually, UNCW was way more white than this. Well, I went to UNCW, so I would know. Yeah. 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 No, I was gonna say UNCW is not. Yeah. They're very white school. And I was like actually shocked that nothing has changed. I because I, I went like way back and I was like, geez. How old do you guys think I am? Oh God. Take your age. I hate guess. that. Twenty eight. Um, okay. Twenty five. What the fuck? You're a magician. That was spot on. Yep. Twenty five. Yep. Uh, good guess though. Not bad. You're the first person that guessed higher. People were guessing like 22, 21 yesterday. Well, you said you graduated a long time ago, so I was like... Indeed. Math? Okay, I'm going to do a... Uh, we're going to end this on a fuck, Mary kill. Okay. I feel like that would be fun. We're going to do a, <laughs> okay. a guy version and a girl version. Okay. Okay, okay so for the, first for the guy, we're going to do Jake Paul, Andrew Tate, and okay. Ted Bundy. Oh, fuck. Um. <laughs> I love this one. Oh, God. Okay. Um... Uh, Mary, Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you get that brag, though. You get that bag. Um, <sighs> fuck Ted Bundy, kill Andrew Tate. Yeah, that's what I would say. Ted Bundy's a handsome guy. I was like, no, if I can not- get out of it alive, like... But how do you know you No, but I think... <laughs> I just cry my way out. <laughs> she can cry her way out of anything. No, yeah. Can Dead you ass. force cry? Like, force yourself to cry? No, it just comes out. <laughs> she just, it's, like, it's natural. What movie made you cry most recently? Um, oh gosh. What well, movie it did movie. we watch? It was Boys Planet. It was the Boys thing Planet. that made you cry most recently. Yeah, Boys Planet. It's Boys a TV show. Planet, it's a K-pop that? TV show. Oh, uh, it's one of those Korean ones. Yep. yep. Interesting. Yep. Uh, what was the last time you cried? <laughs> last semester. What was it about? Friend group? No. I don't know why I was crying, honestly. <laughs> I'm trying to think the last time I cried. It's definitely during the movie. <laughs> Green Book was pretty Oh, no, sad. it was it was over winter break. Um, I cried during Jurassic movie when the Brachiosaurus died. <gasps> yes. In the fire. Oh, my gosh. Jurassic That's so movie. sad. The, really? The, when the dinosaur died Dude, on honestly, the island when it was on fire. I do remember the last time I cried because you brought it up, and I'm thinking about things i watched now. Uh, have you guys seen The Last of Us? Mm-mm. I, uh, her parents my, have. my parents, her parents are keep like, asking us to watch it. Yeah. Dude, episode three, you guys would really appreciate. It's about, I'm not going to ruin anything, but it's about... Just, just two guys that are gay, and they're fucking made me cry so much. Bro. That <laughs> shit was just so sad. Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, yeah. Uh, last fuck Mary kill, and then we'll end this up because I know I'm holding your guys' uh, time. Hillary Clinton, Fiona from Shrek, or Lizzo. Oh, okay. <clears throat> That's uh, easy. Mary Lizzo. That's easy. Yeah. All right. Fuck uh, yeah. F- fuck Fiona. Kill Hillary Clinton. Just because those yep, are my period. only options. Done. Same. Wait, wait. Who, who did you say? Fuck. Fiona. <laughs> Fiona? Fiona. Okay, yeah. nice. And then kill Hillary. All right, yeah. I'm on board with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck Hillary. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's like. I think I think I would have done the exact same thing. Yeah. 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 That's a good point. Lizzo, I'd still get that bag. Yeah. 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 I'd do the same thing the other way too, except for I'd probably kill Ted Bundy on mm-hmm. the other one. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. Andrew Tate's gotta go. No, yeah. I'd marry. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can Are you sure? 
I might fuck Tate. I don't know. <laughs> Touch his bald head. I was like, you know, he's getting fucked though. I'm not. Well, actually, I probably get fucked too. I don't know about the scenario then. That's a weird one. Think about. I don't know. Both ways. But uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. But here is my podcast. It's gonna be up not this Tuesday, but the one after. Oh, and um, we'll exchange socials. Or what is your guys' social media? I can put it on. If you guys are want to. Yeah. I don't Otherwise, really, if you I don't, don't really have a social media. Presence. Okay. Big facts. Um. You don't have a social media. You're like 18. I have. Right? You, I'm 19. You I have social do. media. I just don't use it. Are you older for your year then? No. I just turned so 19. Everybody 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah 19. we both just turned 19. Oh, I turned 19 my sophomore year. The fuck? That's Did crazy. you go to college early? No, I just went to oh, college well, at 17. Oh, well, our birthday is earlier in the year. It is. In oh, like February. Okay. My birthday was on freshman move-in day. I turned 18 on freshman move-in day. That is so I had so no sad. friends. Yeah. I, no, there I, had was, a, I had to go to there a frat a party. There was a girl that was still 17 halfway through the first semester. Oh, yeah. She tragedy. lives in our dorm. Yeah. Tragedy, the little baby. Yeah. I had a friend who turned 18 in September. 18 in September, like recent. Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, I, I turned 18 uh, well, August of when I was going to college. Yeah. Um, what was your social? Shout it out. Um, my social is for Instagram. I'm just going to put Instagram. Um, K underscore E underscore L underscore L underscore Y underscore H. <laughs> Yeah. Kelly H with underscores all over. Yep, yep. Thank you thank y'all for coming on. Yep. You guys yeah, are thank great. You for having us. Find yes. me on socials and we will. Yeah, we'll for sure. Keep in touch or whatever. Awesome. Yeah. yeah y'all have fun with right, your rest you. of your day. Thank you. Thank you guys. Should I do another one, guys? I'm kinda tired. <laughs> I mean, I don't see any interesting looking people. I don't know. I've had a I've had a, a wide range of at one time I had two people come on, they didn't know each other. Guy and a girl and they both had the same name. That was fucking That's sick. Crazy. Yeah, both named Taylor. That, and one was like, they're opposites too. He was a metalhead. She was an sorority. Oh. Like Zeta or some shit. Yeah. That was lit. I don't know. Let's well, it see. Looks like classes just got out, so you might find something. Oh, yeah. I might get one more. Thank y'all for coming on. Yeah, thank you. Later. Later. Take like five minutes. You guys will be my last group, anyways. About? It's about you guys. Oh, oh great. Yeah, yeah, I'm on a college tour right now, just talking to random college students okay. about stuff. Awesome. So whatever you guys want to talk about. Oh, you, you sure you don't want to sit down? No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. My okay, what's your guys' names? I'm Brennan. Brennan. Oh yeah, I'm Riley. Riley. Yeah. Riley or Eileen? Riley. Riley. Nice to meet you guys. My name Thank is Loon. Uh, how do you guys like UNC? I mean, ECU. I just said UCW. Yeah. ECU. Well, I'm from Wilmington, so I love UNC. Uh, I was just there. I, I went to school there back in the day. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love ECU. Do yeah. I hate Greenville? Yeah. Yeah. But I love ECU. Yeah. Is there anything outside the actual no. campus? No. All you do is drink. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Did you guys go here initially for the parties or what? No. no. Really? It's the number one teaching school. Where oh, you guys are both educators? Yeah. Wow, no fucking shit. What grade would you guys like to teach? Fifth grade. Yeah, third through fifth. That's a prime age. You guys had that, like, in down pack. Well, I yeah. had kindergarten last semester, and I don't want to deal with no. wiping noses, tying shoes. Dream city to work or to teach in. Just curious. Raleigh. Raleigh. That's yeah, where I'm Raleigh's from. a good program. Really, yeah. really. They have well, really good teachers. In North Carolina, I would be Wilmington, because that's just where I'm from, but... No, somewhere up north. You sound like you're pay. from Wilmington. You have a little twang. She said, "Where I'm from." Where I'm from. She got that little twang to it. He's That's awesome. You, rough. <laughs> you sound a little rough. Are you guys? Um, are you guys in Greek life here? No. Okay. Good. 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 Cool. 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 Wrong cool. girls. Wrong girls. No. 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 <laughs> I'm, 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 I, I, I had a few us. on here. No, okay. Like, yeah. No, <laughs> not us. Not us. Um, how do you guys feel about the diversity on this campus? Honestly, it's not like you won't see. What are those schools called where they're like just strictly white? What are they oh, called? UCW. <laughs> <laughs> I went there. <laughs> I had to join a fucking yeah, white PWI. fraternity. Um, no, P PWI. Yeah, no, I definitely oh, okay. wouldn't consider this school one. Okay. Even if it's like, it statistically, has, it might it be. It has gotten better in this last hour, but the first hour is here was only white motherfuckers, yeah, bro. It was crazy. They, mm -hmm. Do you think there's any stereotypes that goes along with being a t teaching ma major? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is that? Um... What is it like ring by spring? A lot of people think that because Whoa. you're an education major, you get you can, married and you like get married fast. Yo, it's kind of so true fast. though. Not me. Though. You bro, I've been on Tinder and I'm, I'm matched with girls that are like it's, teachers, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel that. No, um, my freshman year roommate, she's already married. Yeah. What no, the fuck? Still in school. Yeah. Freshman year, freshman year roommate, roommate. And she's, well, how, how old are you guys now? We're 20, so we're juniors. Yeah. You guys are only 20? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they Dang, met freshman year. That's Love crazy. Her though. Love her Yo, here's another thing, a stereotype that I've noticed, at least, uh, like dating around. Teachers seems like they get fucked up off of alcohol a lot. Like, they're like really alcoholic, <laughs> yeah. dominant. Yeah. Do you guys, are yeah. you guys, do you guys partake legally, or actually um, technically it's not legal? Well, if I were 21. If you were 21. I say that I would partake uh, sometimes, but I feel like we don't even have time to. Yeah. Really? We yeah. are so busy. You guys. 
are so busy for how much you guys get paid. Yeah. It's really fucked. Amen. It's awful. Yeah. Amen. Would you guys have ever moved out the state to work? Absolutely. Yeah, because NC, I'm pretty sure NC's like the bottom five it or is. ten. It is awful. It is pretty bad. But I'm kind of a puss. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Like, hey. North Carolina is what I know. Yeah. True. And where so, are you from again? I'm from like Raleigh area. Yeah, okay, so you would want to be around family. Yeah. What, did you uh, go to school in Raleigh area? Yeah. High school? Uh, Wake County? or? Yeah, what? Wake County. Okay. Uh, which school? Green Hope. Okay, I know that one. That's interesting. Are you from Raleigh? No, I'm not. I just have a lot oh, okay. of friends. You just know, you just I, know everything. I, I'm sorry. I, I, yeah, yeah, I'm just fucking like, super me. smart. Um, yeah. All right, last question. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go because okay. I know you guys have class. Let Our me pick professor a good one. would not care. If we yeah. told her, we were like, oh, we're doing a podcast. She'd be oh, like, perfect. Okay, okay, like, okay, would cool. you be willing to talk to a professor? Because she would probably she would come out here. Please. I'll ask her. <laughs> we'll see if she'll come out. ask her? The whole class might have to come, but like, yeah. That's fine. We'll make it a field trip. Okay, I'll actually stick around just for a professor. Okay, we'll see what she But let me close this out on you guys. Do you think? Well, what's your opinions on um, polygamy and open relationships? Could you do it? You know it? what? Could if you do it? No, personally, no. Okay. I'm a jealous person. Yeah, you're I a teacher. I don't want to share. That's I right. don't want to yeah. share. I, I'm not that type of person. Right. But what floats your boat, baby? Okay. Yeah. If you want to, go out. There's so... Okay. I can barely but keep up with myself. My like, okay, so, so both you guys. So having to keep up with somebody else already, okay. like in a monogamous, that's already a lot for me. Like I don't even, I can only wipe my own ass. I can't do nobody else's. So to have more people in there, that's too much. Well, but I support everybody. What's your guys' most important physical and um, non-physical, like personality trait in a significant other? Oh, you got to be funny. funny. You gotta funny. be funny. You're not funny. Oh, if you, you guys are in sync with that humor, one. No. Yeah. I, I will not let anybody tap that is not funny. I agree. No. I agree. Like, that's really important in a girl, too. They have to have a good sense of humor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's hard to find yeah. pretty girls who are funny. Yeah. And I'm going to sit right here. That's true. But I'm trying to think about, like, pre- is it hard? Maybe. Well, because, oh, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Well, I feel like. Also, uh, pretty, pretty subjective. So oh, I feel like. True. Well, depends that, on what your type is. Pretty girls have never had to work for anything. Yeah. And I was ugly in high school, so I know how to be funny mm-hmm. because I had to get people to like me. Mm. Yeah. And so. Yo, the people who were ugly when they were growing up, those are the funniest. Yeah. The best personality yeah. people, dude. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, what about physical trait? Um, a big butt. A big butt? And a man? What yeah. a significant big butt, pick. Big thighs. I like big, big okay. thighs and hairy. What about big <laughs> Hairy. What about hand. big thighs but no butt? Nah, they gotta have that. Ah, oh my god! If, if they if their pants don't stay up because they don't yeah. have an ass, that's I'm mad embarrassing. Dead. That is mad What's your physical trait? My physical trait? I don't see. Ever, to me, I would date anybody as long as they're funny. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think I really have a type. You just have to be. Have you guys, my humor. Have you guys been on dating apps while being on campus? Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, which ones? Tinder. Tinder. Okay, Bumble. Was, I was a Bumble ambassador. Was a Bumble ambassador. <laughs> nice. Yeah. How was that experience? Oh my god, it was literally terrifying. Um, so yours is terrifying. Yeah. Well, I met people that were on campus, and they were fine. Okay. I mean, it's definitely just a hookup culture. You don't really uh, have okay. dating. Like, what was the worst pickup line or thing that you've oh, remember? Oh, when people I would just be best. like, when they would just be like. God, let me fuck on them tits. <laughs> like, something like that. And I'm that? like, dude, it's like 3 p.m. I'm like, Please are you church. fucking for real right dude, now? Dude, what's crazy to me is, like, what is the success rate of that? Because it had to have None. been successful at least once, though. Because why would they, they do yeah, it? That's true. Then they get what? what was your line? Or well, my thing? favorite, I don't have a bad line. My favorite line was strawberries or blueberries. Like, I have to answer that? Yeah, like answer. Strawberries blueberries. or blueberries? blueberries. Okay, I know that to add to your waffles when I make you breakfast in the morning. No, that is so <laughs> true, That's corny. man. If somebody said that to me, block. That's corny. That's the one that I think I would have blocked them. I would just not respond. No, I'd be like, the fuck man. is this corny ass thing? That'd I'd be like, I lied to you. I'd actually. be like, what is blue. the proper, what's the proper <laughs> message to start on Tinder? Or there isn't one. You just got to be hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it when people It kind of like, is like that sometimes. When they just make jokes. Like, they're like, you I have a stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Like, Define yeah, that. We, I mean, but also our humor is like twelve year old boy. We, we're all like awful. Like our humor is not is bad. normal. So if somebody was like message me and be like, "Sup, fatty?" Like I would probably be like, "Hey, girl." Like, "Hey." <laughs> like that's like my humor. <laughs> so I'm gonna like, have to clip that. Ugly. That was yeah. fucking hilarious. Like I just I don't know. Like, you be okay mean. with that? That's hilarious. Yes. Like my humor is mean humor. Like yeah. I'm. I, Yo, that's fucking crazy. I'm trying Don't to worry. think, like, yo, if I'd said that to a girl, I think I'd get my ass beat. No. <laughs> it's just funny. Like, I don't know. Yeah, well, you, you guys are that, different then. Like, I love your boobs. 
Ew. Cause no, like, don't yeah, say that, that, that's, that's nice, fucking but, weird. Like, don't talk about them like that. That's yeah. Weird. So, like, I never do a joke line. I always do no, like a question. No, you gotta do joke lines. I always like, yeah. But what's, you have to be confident in it. Cause if you're not like, confident in it and it fails, that's even okay. worse than like having a regular pickup. I line. usually just ask like, what's your worst Tinder experience or some shit, some I mean, goofy like, okay. shit. No, that's boring. You gotta be creative. <laughs> uh, I honestly don't care too much to be honest. Tinder is just a hookup. Yeah. I mean, also like, it's your your base. You're basically gonna match based on your face. Don't use dating apps. Yeah. Facts. Break a dating app. Yeah. Facts. Don't All right, them. look, this is what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to stay here. Yeah. I will close up the podcast if your professor doesn't come out. Okay. But you guys put your Instagrams down, and then I'm going to message you guys. and Just message me back in case she says no. Okay. okay. So that I, I'll just leave. And if she does, you have to have some good questions prepared because this Fuck. is the best I, I you'll have to think meet. about I'll uh, go ahead and let you. what oh, kind sorry. of questions should I ask um, her? Um, she non sexual, of course. Please don't. Okay. She's probably I won't do 60 that. years old. Oh, perfect. She, dude, potentially been to jail. We're not still oh, sure about that shit. one. What does she teach? Or actually, I'll just find out. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can ask her these questions. She. Dude. She's a funny one. I have really fucked go. up questions though, so I gotta try not she to. Might she might. What she was your guys' names again on here? Brennan. It was Brennan. This one, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah cool. I let you fall. Okay. Cool. I'll um. I'll mess. Or one of you guys message. Oh shit! The whole squad came out for real, for real. <laughs> Yo, this is awesome. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh! I, you guys actually got her to come out. I was on, honestly like, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> um, if you could see her. Sit down as long as it can hold my weight. It absolutely can. What was your name? Jeez. What's your name? Lindley. Lindley, Professor Lindley. Nice to meet oh, you. My yeah. name is Loon. Oh, you don't even go by Professor, huh? Oh, I just go by Lindley. Lindley. You seem cool as heck. Yeah. That's amazing. Do I have to talk into this? Yeah, I mean, I would prefer oh, that. It is on. <laughs> yeah, it is on. Oh, what's uh, your you, name? My name is Loon, like the moon with an L. Loon, yeah, like the moon Lindley. With nice the L. to is meet the you. Whole word moon. moon yeah, like honestly, I go moon, by that like at this point. With the L. There's so many girls into horoscopes that I have to say that just in case. I got you. Okay. <laughs> How do you like teaching at ECU? Oh, I lo- who wouldn't love teaching these d- fine it's ladies? It's just all girls. Have you ever had a guy? S- yeah, student? I have one in my class. His Where's name's he? Kevin. He doesn't. He's Where's been, Kevin right now? He's in a little trouble with me because he's he's skipping. Kevin is living the dream. He. Just- uh, let me tell you. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yes, I have had Makes males sense. in my class. Is this a teaching class? Yes, it is. Okay. Elementary teaching class. Okay, awesome. And so, um, w- in your past, prior to teaching, were you an elementary teacher? I'm assuming. Well, or did I, you just straight I was academia? a middle school teacher. Why elementary then? Did well, you switch because, up? because it, when I was in school, you only got two. There were only two degrees. You either got elementary ed, which was First grade through eighth grade. Okay. Or secondary, which was sixth grade. Oh, through all right. Grade. Interesting. Did you? So, uh, but I didn't. I didn't go to school in the state of North Carolina. So when I moved here. Oh. Okay. I because I had my elementary ed. Right. They, uh, they tapped me for ki- kindergarten through eighth grade. Oh wow. What? Uh, where are you from? I'm from Cincinnati. You're from Cincinnati. How do you feel about Skyline Chili? I love Skyline. You chili. like Skyline yes, Chili? Yes, I have some in my closet right now. No. <laughs> You guys best. know what Skyline Chili is? It's, it's disgusting. The, it's the <laughs> best chili ever. Rachel Ray just did it on TV on Monday. She it's, just talked about imagine Cincinnati chili. Imagine spaghetti and, like, chili had a baby. Yeah, but it's, like, spaghetti, but it's really thin, and it's got cinnamon in it. What about Grater? Grater? Grater said Graters. to my roommate when I was I at love U, Graters. You see, she worked at Graters. Yeah, Graters yeah. was a good time. I had an internship in uh, Cincinnati. What did you do there? Uh, I was l- boring white people stuff. Like, uh, well, that's okay. Insurance. I'm a boring white person. No, you're not. You seem like the coolest yeah, white person I've ever met. I was a met. teacher for 33 years. It's pretty Oh, no, boring. you seem pretty chill. Uh, I got some of my students over here somewhere, How- I'm sure. You're not afraid to go to jail? No, I'm not afraid to go back to prison. All right. Oh, you've gone? Yeah. What, for what? I took my kids on a field trip. How? And that causes jail time? No, we got to go into the prison, though. Oh. <laughs> so I have physically been in a jail. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, if you had to go to jail, for what would the reason be? Oh, can't say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's, what's a hidden talent of yours? Um, that these students can, don't know. I can take a baseball and flick it on my arm and catch it. I used I to wish always I had a have baseball. a baseball, and today's opening day. Oh, my gosh. I know. I'm a huge Reds fan. How? Oh, yeah. Well, that makes sense. That was actually the first baseball game. Are they serving game. beer on that, or is that coffee? 
Oh, never mind. A Starbucks bike. Yeah, that does yeah. seem like it would be a beer thing, huh? Well, at Fleet Feet, that's what they do. What kind of beer do you like? Free. Free. I feel like you could get a lot of free beer at a bar. I I don't know about that. Not until the semester's <laughs> over. <laughs> it's sub, sub dogs is a thing here. I noticed that. Now look, if you put all that on the podcast and they all see how pretty y'all are, they're they're, they're guys. Go to sub dogs if you guys like white girls. Any place, but every That's guy the move. on campus is going to be over there. So, but if they see me and I go, look, don't mess with my chickolas. <laughs> They may just be like, yeah, what else? <laughs> You're the coolest. Prof- I've been trying to get a professor on the podcast for so long. Oh, you should talk to Dr. Preston. Dude, I'm all- You're going to be my last one. Who- oh. Who's Dr. Preston? He works in Flanagan. He's like one of the head honchos. He is so great. He's so funny. What makes him so great? He's funny. Yeah? He can tell you a lot of jokes. What does he I- teach? He teaches math. Did, uh, did you ever watch Harry Potter? Like, grow- I didn't. Well, I watched the movies. Okay, I read so the what? Books. What um? What professor would you parallel to? I don't know enough about Harry oh, Potter. To okay, tell all right. I'll, I'll ask you a different one then. What's yeah. your least favorite thing and most favorite thing about this campus? About ECU this campus. Yeah. Parking is my least favorite. Is parking bad here? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, it's my. Least I found favorite. it better than some of the other campuses I've been. Well, what, you, it was really bad until they built this parking lot over here a few years ago. You should see Wilmington. Yeah. They uh, suck. Well. You know, <laughs> uh, UNCW is a beautiful campus, though. I mean, you know, yeah, it it's is. All right. I went but to school I there. I love this campus, but I think what I love the most yeah. is uh, the students. You guys. And the atmosphere. I do. And this atmosphere, like at a football game. Oh, yeah, um, you guys have football. <laughs> we didn't have football. Yeah, we have all the sports here. We're a real campus. You guys are good at football, too. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are good. Campus. You guys are really good at football. And then our Pretty baseball well. team. I was, I was really hoping maybe. No, that's Cliff, App State. I'm tripping. <laughs> JK. I, thought, I thought Cliff Godwin would be around in his golf cart. I really want to be on that show. Right. Um, if you won the lottery right now and st- and had to stop teaching, what would you do instead? If I had to stop teaching, yeah. <laughs> I would do what I you know do when I'm not teaching. I which is travel. Okay. Um, I have a place in Aurora, North Carolina, on the water. No fucking clue what that is, but yeah, it's about <laughs> it's at the middle of nowhere, isn't it, Taylor? Yeah. Middle. Are you from there? No. My family has a house there. Oh, cool. I guess yeah. that's a spot then, yeah. huh? But they have great bingo once a year. You said you I like to travel. Prices. I What's your favorite place that you've been? Australia. Oh, I have family there. I haven't been there yet. Yeah, Melbourne or where? I stayed in Melbourne, but yeah. we went on vacation up to the Gold Coast. Oh, at wow. Bondi Beach and like, and then we went to Sydney for a week. Wow. So you got to experience both ends yeah, of it. Yeah, it was really nice. What, what place do you think isn't, you haven't been to? Ireland. Ireland? You really want to go to Ireland? It's on my bucket list. Why Ireland? And I'm old, so I don't have much time to do it. <laughs> Why Ireland? Elon because, Musk will come okay, up with something. Because it's beautiful. Okay. They have really good places to eat and have drinks all right um you know they're called pubs i think they're they and do. um if you've ever read Maeve benchy she's my absolute favorite author and she does um she writes really good stories interesting and she's irish and all of her huh. books are right there so i've read every book of her sometimes more than once and yeah that's why wow that's amazing um what was your mem- most memorable moment teaching Teaching? After this, I'm gonna. Uh, do you guys want to conduct an interview after this? Oh Lord! With her? Yeah. If she, they're not nice. Okay, one of them gets fired. This. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it'd be funny to see the teachers. <laughs> yeah. What's no, your most no, memorable? She'll get fired from her job. I'll tell. I'll tell. I'll tell her boss some lies about her. Some. <laughs> oh, we we were just talking about do. the stereotype with teaching. Uh-huh. Do you notice that like all teachers like are alcoholics? Well, I wouldn't say they're alcoholics, but they um, they have to learn how to uh, manage. Because to mm. me, an alcoholic is somebody that you have to have it all the time. You're right. And it's just dealing with kids. You're like, but oh. dealing with kids, you have to have a vice. Uh, so, you know. Yeah. And it's better than, you know, technically Y'all can hop drugs. on and I'll, so, I want to see this happen. Oh, Lord. Here come, here come my, they all can come in yeah, if they want. Everyone wants to ask questions. Yeah. Hilarious. There's only like six of us, y'all. Okay. <laughs> there we better can... be more coming. All right. If, there, if there's not more, they're going to have a hard... I'm going to give them so, a division quiz. Miss <laughs> Martin, I have a very burning question for you. <laughs> yes. yes. Don't burn that. Why... Oh, gosh. Why the bag of ketchup? Mm. Oh, because Duncan, my nephew, gets... There's a little restaurant in Aurora called Frank and Shirley's. And every Friday during the pandemic... 
we were living down there and they were open but they only did takeout so every friday we called it frank and shirley's friday <laughs> and so we went to frank and shirley's every friday and we would get something to eat well they always gave us ketchup and uh, utensils so we don't use ketchup and we so instead so you of, decided to give it to us so instead of well i was saving it so i just kept putting it in a big container that was just one of my containers i have a whole nother container full this be because this ketchup since, part two. you know i've been doing this and then like when i go to we have a, a community picnic i take the little packets of ketchup and then the kids will use it there let me get some background knowledge for this podcast yeah we do a lottery at the end of every class it's not yeah. a lottery that sounds it's, illegal it's, it's, it's a not giveaway. <laughs> They come to class and they, yeah. no, let me tell you, yeah. they come to class and they have an attendance sheet and they, I, they, whatever number they came in, like if they're signed at the first one, they're number one. And at the end I do a mathematical number generator <laughs> because it is a math class. Period. And then we, whatever number we comes won up, some very they interesting win a prizes. prize. That's all it and is. And one of them was a, was a yeah. gallon of bag of ketchup bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which um, I did win, by the way. I was the winner of the ketchup um, bag. We won't go into what happened that day either. <laughs> the table <laughs> incident. Broke the table. I broke a table in the okay. process of grabbing the Before ketchup bag. Before Riley asks her question, I have a question for you. I don't even have a question. Um, gay son or thought daughter? What does that even mean? I don't know what thought daughter means. <laughs> um, a thought daughter in definitions terms, uh-huh. Webster Dictionary, would be a... Woman, oh, a woman who sleeps around. I would probably much prefer a gay son. A gay son. Okay, okay. good, good answer. Okay, my question for you is, and you can't lie, you can't plead the well, fifth. I can. No, yeah, I know when you're lying. Okay, Santa Claus is watching. Oh, uh, that's okay too. Okay, who is your favorite student? Say me. Or me? Ever? Yeah. Ever my favorite student ever class. is Ashley Bonnet. Okay, well, okay, but she okay. went to you. Leave Ashley Bonnet. Who's your favorite student now? Oh, okay. Um. Here in the class, in the you're class. all my favorites. In all that of is your so classes, the, you're all my favorites. I mean, I love this class. Who is the student you would want to punch in the shoot face? Shoot with a BB gun the most, Riley. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else have questions? Somebody had a question. Uh, all right, come on. I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Caitlin, what is your question? Oh, not Caitlin. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Miss Martin. Yes. Oh, is there a yeah. gift or prize that you've given us so far this year that you regret giving us, oh, or no. you think about it no. after the fact? No. No? Mm-hmm. no. Not even the conditioner and shampoo. No. The bag of what conditioner. About this? No, I don't. No, I don't. Pretty, pretty yeah. cool gifts. I, I, to I me. don't. I don't regret gifts <laughs> that I give. Oh, that's good. Did you see here? They're gifts. Okay, so you can't no pick lottery. a favorite student. No lottery. You can't pick a favorite student. But no. who would you want to travel to Ireland with? Pick one. Mm. If it's not I Riley, you're I would ask lying. all of you to go, and then we would just take it from there, whoever showed up. Okay, cool. That was so mean. I thought she was going to say me. Caroline, do you have one? No. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much for coming moon on. You were amazing. Like moon yep. with an L. See, that's why you remembered it, because I, I said did. that. I did. Here we are. All right. I wish I had you as a professor. Well, you have to Maybe go I should go back. Yeah, I'm going to go back to school and for you this. You have to look for my name because there's more than one of us. <laughs> there's more than one of you? Not more than one of me, but more than one of yeah, us right, teachers. Yeah, right, right. Well, thank you so much. You're all actually right. a really cool but teacher. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll share with all your students and you as well my podcast, and then right, you guys can find it. Fantastic. Yep. Thank you so much. But is that a prize I get? Yeah, sure. It's a sticker, but it's my podcast more than anything. Okay, yeah. They all have them? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Pass okay. them out. Yeah. So this is um this is gonna be on not this Tuesday, but the one after. This coming Tuesday is UNCW. Yeah. All right guys, we're closing it out after that. I can't even top that. That was amazing. Thank you guys. See you guys next week. Bye.